Greetings, members one and all of the Salivation Nation. We are live and in effect. We've got Donald in Mexico here. Silver Wolverine is here. Good to see you guys. Welcome. It is Sunday night. You know what that means. It is time for the Market Watch. And we're going to do that. Hey, we got Lost for Words here Greetings, early on. AG47 is here. Sorry about that. We got the stuff going on here. Very good. So let's get into... Uh, before the markets do open, we're going to do a little bit of a comment and review here on the Mid-ID video. Beyond privacy, the two problems that John Smith has, unlike an Eagle, Maple Leaf, or Britannia, which are timeless aesthetic pieces, this thing looks like a trendy piece of electronic junk. Uh, second, in regards to practicality, imagine having thousands of these and having to scan every one. It would take days. That's true. Very true. It would not be practical to scan them all, for sure. Days and Confused Stacker is here, and we've got Michael Cabrin, Cabrin here from MK Bars. Welcome, my friend, Michael Cabrin. Long time no see. Hope you're doing well. All right. Uh, Silver Wolverine, I don't think I did see your video today. Um, I was actually out of band practice, believe it or not, so I must have missed it. I'll have to check it out later. I can't imagine it being any more embarrassing than my Men ID video, though. Uh, but Silver Drill Pickle saw it. And we got Mark B here. Welcome, guys. So uh, let's see here. Let's see here. All right. Okay. So Michael Cabrin is going to do lives too when he reaches a thousand subs. So check him out. Uh, I don't know if it's if, if you're doing it from your uh, from that channel there with your name or from MK Bars channel, but subscribe to both of them. He's doing some pretty cool things. He's actually striking bars now, which is cool. John Bellinger, welcome. And Beetle St uh, Hugo Stiglitz is here. And so is Savage Stacker. And good to see you guys. All right. So we're going to check out the markets here as they open up. And I think this is important for today. Why? Because uh, precious metals have been going up a little bit um, on Friday. And so anyways. Oh, yes. Uh, Acrobatic Jesus. Uh, thank you, my friend, for this super chat. And no problem. And... Uh, Yes, thanks for the thoughts and prayers, and I hope you're doing okay, because I know you have to have a pacemaker put in, uh, because the heart attack you had did some damage to the heart, so they have to put a pacemaker in there. I pray all goes well with that, and that you will recover as full as you can, considering uh, the heart is a very strong muscle. So yes, indeed, prayers for you, my friend. All right, Silver Honda is here. He's Silver Honda, and he drives a blue Honda. Welcome to Silver Honda. All right. So, uh, Korean Stacker says, thanks for the info and clarification. No problem. Yes, indeed, on this COVID-19 coins. All right. Good to see Meteo Man. All right. The Ben ID looks cool, but probably not going to get one, says Silver Wolverine. Understand. Very good. Okay, let's get back here. Uh, Boyd Odell Tyler Bear says, earthquake motiva motivation drill golden Grammy base what miners plan to do trapped with someone uh it's the 10 largest silver mines in the world video and uh yes he's talking about earth uh, motivation drills trapped and somebody would not be good to be trapped underneath there that's right boyd if i'm understanding your your, your comment correctly here all right let's see here where are we at? Okay, Silver Drill Pickle says first. Thank you, Silver Drill Pickle. Yes, indeed. Oh, thank you so much, my friend. Thank you. Oh, man, Michael Cabrin, thank you so much for that super chat, my friend. Very kind of you, indeed. Yes, definitely. Um, but, uh, yeah, indeed. It's it's a good community, and uh, you're doing some good work there. Um, and even just people to get tours and, and some of the new releases you have, definitely subscribe to Michael Cabrin channel there and mk bars very good hello eddie's little stack very cool thank you sir native stacker hello hello dove season nice to see you in a sunday afternoon thank you so much all right let's check the markets now because it is six o'clock here eastern time and we're looking at the asian markets and look at that uh well we haven't refreshed the page yet here but it is now open and they are um, up pretty uh, at a pretty good clip here out of the starting gate. The metals are. Look at that. Amazing. Uh, $1,749.80. It's only a 0.38% jump. 
But uh, you know, that's six dollars and sixty cents. That's a that's a good measurable number right out of the starting gate for gold. Silver is up almost a full percent. It's up sixteen cents, sixteen dollars and eighty-seven cents. Will silver break seventeen dollars during this live chat? We'll find out and see. In our Sunday night market watch, the platinum is also up over a percent. It is uh, seven hundred ninety-seven dollars, and palladium is up fifty-six dollars. It's almost getting close to two thousand dollars here. So we'll see what happens. Very good. All right. So we'll keep an eye on all the metals here. Very good. Okay. We'll see what happens. I appreciate you guys being here. We're going to come back to the metals here momentarily because it is some movement, and we'll see if they can hold their own during the course of this live stream. Very good. Always good to see you guys that are popping in here. Try to be do a better job of uh, uh, saying hello to you guys that are popping in the chat. So we got It's All Good is here. Hello. Jamie Foxx is here. Rush Sherwood is here. Um, and Robert Pollock is here. Some new folks. Uh, good to see you. And... We got all as one now. Very good. And uh, Silver Honda reached 500 subs. That's awesome, Silver Honda. Very good. And congratulations on 500 subscribers to Silver Honda. Great channel, great guy. All right. And Alan Gold says, shove Sal in his shredder. Oh, my goodness gracious. Now, I don't know if he's, if he's uh, telling me that I'm a... I don't know if he's, uh, Alan Gold is maybe insinuating that I'm a shredder on guitar. My guess is that's probably not the case, but I'm going to go ahead and interpret it as that and thank him for it. Flag Jacket Elf, Flag Jacket Off is waving to us. And Joey is here. Hello, Joey. Good to see you, Joey. By the way, Joey, you got to be happy about Bitcoin. I don't know what it's doing lately, but it did go up pretty substantially uh, there for a while. Yes, indeed. Hi, Steve is here. All right, let's get back up here. Chuck and Plata says up, up, and away for silver. <clears throat> In this video that I posted about the debt clock. Yes, indeed. All right. We got 74 watching and 14 thumbs up so far. Very good. The Treasure Seeker says, so why is it still being sold for far so far below this price? Well, because this is not an indicator of the um, of what the silver price should be. All that is, is it tells us is how many dollars are being printed year on year compared to the, um, the uh, how much silver is mined annually. Um, and it just does tell us that it should be up, but uh, not to that point level. Yes, indeed. All right, where are we at? We've got Mark Simmons says, Trump is taking down the Rothschilds and using their fake trillions and building a parallel economy, gold-backed, at the same time, we will be fine. We know. I don't know. I don't know much about that, but I've always uh, speculated that perhaps in Jackson Hole, uh, that Jackson Hole could possibly potentially be uh, the new Bretton Woods or Jekyll Island. In other words, my guess is probably they are talking about, um, you know, some sort of new standard or new dollar. Um, and a reset, an economic reset, and they're planning for it uh, because of what's been going on. Because the more they print, uh, the tougher it's going to be to to uh, get out of this debt, this debt-based situation we're in. And uh, so, yeah, we'll see. Okay. All right, let's see here. Oh, I've lost for words. Thank you so much, my friend. He says, uh, keep up the great work. Enjoy your videos. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Very kind of you indeed. All the super chats tonight, by the way, um, and as they have been for the last uh, couple of weeks, are going towards some new equipment for the channel. So uh, very good. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see here. And Glock's, Glock SM40 says, thanks for the information you share. Only been into gold, silver a few months. Well, congratulations. Uh, yes, indeed. I appreciate you being here. And... Um, Congratulations on stacking gold and silver, for sure. All right. And uh, Jet uh, Quailson is here. Good to see you. Welcome to Liberty and Trust, or Go Silver Gold Bitcoin is on U.S. dollars on life support. That's right. Sure is. Very good. And, uh, yeah, there's Pudenda Johnson. There's Pudenda. All right. I think Alan is in love with Sal, but doesn't know how to tell him. It must be something like that. Awkward. You know, I'm an approachable guy, Alan. So, hey, you know, 
I don't swing that way, but I will, uh, you know, I'll be gracious towards you. You know what I'm saying? Very good. Welcome to you guys. Good to see you. Everybody popping in here. All right. Uh, Michael Cabrin says, you think the reset is coming? If so, digital back end, physical gold backed combo of things. Yes, I think if there's going to be a reset of the dollar, um, they, it'll be something based off of some sort of blockchain or digital technology. Already in the legislation, they talked about it using a, a Fed coin, which is a kind of a, a, you know, a government backed crypto, essentially. But gold and silver could be a part of this as part of a rules-based monetary system. But I think that it'll be something that they'll probably want to track. And so they will they will probably make this new dollar out of that type of thing. And in fact, even if they do make paper currency, I believe it'll probably be polymer notes and they may even have chips in those, kind of like that Mint ID video that I posted about there. So, um, yeah, uh, that's what my feeling is what it could be. But that's just a guess. Good to see all you guys. Johnny Kilo. Good to see you, Johnny Kilo. And Wolfman Sachs is here. Check out Wolfie's latest video. Yes, indeed. All right. Although I feel a little bit uh, uh, like my toes were stepped on when I saw uh, Wolfie's latest video because it uh, part of it was kind of ragging on people like me who make money on YouTube. All right. Let's see here. Let's see. Who's a better shredder, says Kalonic Stacker, Joe Satriani or Marty Friedman? Uh, hands down, it's going to be Marty Friedman. Joe Satriani is a great sound and great style, but technically, Marty Friedman is the better shredder, hands down. But Joe Satriani is a good good guitar player for sure, but they're different styles, but I think Marty is technically better. COVID coins by Sal. All right, there you go. All right, very good. Okay. Silver Drill Pickles here. Hello, Chico France. Uh, time frame to reset, I don't know, Michael Cabrin. Uh, I have no idea what the time frame will be. I think some people are saying, whoa, it's going to be any day now. But this thing will go on for, for, for quite, quite a while, I believe. Um, and uh, But I don't know. But I do believe they're talking about it behind the scenes. But I could be wrong. That's just specul pure speculation on my part. But I think the more we print, the closer we're going to get, obviously. And all with the house bill that's out there, another three trillion added on to the almost ten trillion right now when you include the repos and the quantitative easing as well as the the uh, CARES Act. I believe it's going to be, um, you know, work become even closer and closer. Um, but the dollar has been pretty resilient. And the dollar was resilient through three rounds of quantitative easing. It's absolutely amazing. And why? Why is that? Because because um, everybody believes and uses a dollar. It's the, it's the top dog in the world reserve currencies out there. The next best thing is the euro, and it's still not even close. But anyways, all right. So the treasure hunter says debt is not a big deal until someone calls it in. Eventually that will happen, and that's really what it boils down to. We can, we can cure as much debt as, as we want to as a nation... And until it's really called out, until we have to pay on that debt, it can just continue to grow. All right, okay, Logan, this is one of those channels, guys. And this one somehow got through. I've done a pretty good job of blocking these things. But what it is, is these are people who um, you can tell by looking at. They've got no videos, but they have a, a, attached to another channel that has other videos. And in this channel that's got these videos... Uh, where they're trying to uh, do friend harvesting on YouTube, and it's a bad thing. So the best thing to do is to go to these channels and uh, block them and report them at least. But that is one that got through, sadly enough. And so we will delete this comment. Remove. You're out of here, Logan. No one is going to come to your channel. All right, Logan bot. That's right, Logan is out of here, out of here. Uh... Oh boy, Alan Gold. Okay, Alan Gold. Now there is times where Alan Gold has uh, he he um, is on the pulse for some things. So I have been wondering what's going on with Scottsdale too. Scottsdale has not delivered for orders dating back to March, and uh, so Alan Gold has filed a claim against them. So he must have an order out there, and uh, he fears they may be going bankrupt, and they very well may. That is not good. Um, 
And uh, so, okay, Zephael has reported the channel very good too. All right, 103 watching right now. Let's get back to the markets. Thank you, CCT, CyberCurrent Twitcher. And let me know if that other guy comes in, CyberCurrent Twitcher, that left uh, because I didn't uh, recognize him. I'm trying to do better at that, but it's very tough. Um, so, um, Alan Gold, if you can email me about that, I might do a video on it. But I've kind of, I don't want to give you, I don't want you to give me any personal information about, but, you know, if you can just give me some little background on your situation, I won't mention your name or anything like that. But, um, but I'm very curious because other people have, have not gotten a response from them. They've not gotten a response from them about their order. And I want to see if they've, have, have, have responded to you or anything like that. But anyways, so let's see, what are the markets doing right now? They are up folks. Um, silver is up about, a, I mean, silver is up almost a percentage point right now. Um, gold is up 0.48%, so almost a half a percentage point, but it's 1751 on its way to uh, $1,800. And so the markets are opening up relatively strong out of the starting gate, folks. Um, and with gold and silver, silver's uh, almost doubling the performance of gold at this point, $16.87. We are on a watch to see if silver can break through, uh, um, silver break through to $17. We'll find out. Very good. Okay, let's see here. Uh, phone goes to full mailbox. Okay, so no response from Alan to Alan Gold. Okay, all right. Yeah, that's not good. They need to respond to their customers. Um, you know, if, if all else fails, I don't care what's going on with them. They cannot be doing this. No bullion dealer, I think, should should ignore their, their customers. I've not heard of a single case, but I've, I'm only privy to maybe one or other in, in the comments section. But Alan Gold is not getting any any um, response for any inquiries for his order. And, if, you know, that's not good uh, for sure. All right. So the markets are moving and we're going to come back and check in on them. Uh, but they're they're right now, as we just refresh this page, they're kind of subsiding just a little bit back, but they're still all up. So we'll come back and revisit those here momentarily as we go through the comment review to talk about some of the videos that I posted recently here. All right. Rob Swain says, what if the government's rich, smart moving to other governments to hide it? for when people are going to want their gold from these paper gold stock, and now they can say they don't have it. When it's all said and done and over with, they can go get it later and become rich. Just a thought or something to think about. Well, that's just it. With all, that's just it. With all these swaps and how they lend out these gold contracts, the Lang P posted a great video talking about some of the process there is... It's very easy for things to get uh, shuffled around and the like. And so nothing would surprise me at this point. Nothing. Let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Where are we at? Okay, Scottsdale got wiped out. No, not yet, but there's not sure what's going on with Scottsdale. Toker Talk is here. Hard Asset Stack is here. Hello to everybody. All right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Pamela Rice is here. Pamela Rice, welcome, Pamela. Welcome to you. Savage Stacker says, interesting. Can't wait to see what this week brings us. Yes, it'll be very fascinating to see what happens this week. We're we're keeping an eye on the markets right now. They're opening gate, and so far, they're they're up a little bit. All right, Hippie Farmers here. Welcome. Okay, Silver Wolverine, the silver 2,000 per ounce, sell, sell, sells. Okay, oh man, there we go. 2,000 per ounce, can you imagine? Can you imagine? All right. Uh, silver Honda's got to head out for the night. He's going to give his medications to his residents, keep your feet on the stars, and keep reaching for the hand sanitizer. There you go, sir. Wash your hands, everybody. Yes, indeed. Very good. Thanks, Silver Honda. He is the man. God bless you, Honda. Thanks for all you do. And everybody wash their hands and keep social distancing. Keep those guidelines going, even as things do open up, which is good. Mm. Uh, Native Stacker says, do you think the bullion dealers are padding their cash flow so that when the prices spike, they can afford to pay people what they want to sell? Um, uh, there is some question about it with the actual bullion, with the prices that they show for bullion the spot prices, 
because they all show different prices. I think if there's going to be a padding, it might be there. Otherwise, they tell you what the prices are. But they also hedge. They also do hedging. Um, and we've talked about that with some bullion dealers, so check that out. Logan is here. This is a different Logan. This is not the spammer Logan that we blocked. This is a different Logan. Welcome, Logan. All right. Battle of the Bills. Carcass Napalm Death guitarist Bill Steer uh, versus uh, disgraced NYC Mayor Bill de Blasio. Well, it's a hand down. It's got, I'm going to have to go with Bill Steer hands down because I'll tell you what, Surgical Steel was a great um, uh, a Carcass album. It was their probably their best since Heartwork. And uh, it's an awesome, awesome stuff, especially Unfit for Human Consumption. And Carcass, by the way, has a song, the song Unfit for Human Consumption, where they say, Salivating! And I actually posted it in one of my videos. Can you find that video? I don't know. It is out there. There is where I have taken a little clip from a Carcass song where he goes, Salivating! <laughs> yeah. From Unfit for Human Consumption. Great song. Blows... Blows out the uh, Communisto Bill de Blasio any day of the week. Any day of the week. All right, Logan is in the chat. No, no, Donald, I did not block that Logan. I blocked the other Logan. And not the Wolverine Logan either. All right, <laughs> Alan Gold is trapped down in Logan, put together, want to be friends. There you go, exactly. 120 people here, not 124. Very good. Appreciate you guys being here. For those of you new just joining us, what we do on a Sunday night is we keep an eye on these markets. And when the markets uh, are are doing their thing, we watch them because the markets first open up in Asia. And right now, what we are looking at on the markets is gold is up. Uh, now, not quite as much. It's now 1749.80, up $6.60. And just uh, still under a half percent here. And silver, uh, so gold was up uh, to 1749. The silver is up only 10 cents now, about a half a percentage point. So the number, the gold and silver and platinum has kind of went up a little bit, uh, went up uh, at least a noticeable amount, but are starting to pull back from their gains, but still up. So we keep an eye on these markets to see if anything crazy happens. And believe you me, crazy things have happened in the marketplace, uh, both real and with glitches. And we keep an eye on both uh, here on this. But also in between doing that, we also do a little comment review. We will respond to your comments and uh here on the on the live stream that's what we do here uh indeed all right gold maple the debt will always go up because the population is going up too we're consuming more and therefore spending more we will only have a lower debt if something miraculous happens like the dot-com era of the 90s occurs or we have an extremely fiscal conservative government that drastically cuts social services education etc um the second thing will happen is people will not be allowed that to happen we will talk about tax cuts, and we are all creatures of comfort. If benefits are cut to other segments of society, we are okay. But if our own benefits, we object. No, you're right. That's true. But the thing is, is you have to look at it from a debt to GDP ratio. And that, that is something I covered in this video. And uh, also for each person, too. Uh, you know what I mean? Okay, let's get a little slurp going on for Pamela. I don't know where Barbara is or Terry, but yes, indeed. Ah, very good. Let's see here. A 2018 Wedgetailed Eagle 10th ounce. Those are pretty good deals on those. So it may not be a bad idea to do that. By the way, Guido is here. Hello, Guido. I shouted him out in my uh, latest video. Uh, right, Or not latest, but my one about the Mint ID because he posted a great video on it too. Guido Stacking, great channel. He uh, does auctions on Monday nights. Check him out. And uh, very good. Okay, let's see here. Hawaii AG, uh, how about some scam callers tonight? Well, uh, I have given up calling them on Sunday nights, sir, because um, they never answer. They never answer on a Sunday night. I've tried. I've, I've uh, believe you me, I'd love to be able to call them on a Sunday night, but uh, you know they don't answer on a Sunday night for some reason. So I can't do it. All right, Colonic Stacker checked on Carcass on with Salivating. I think it's Oxidized Razor Masticator. It's, is, that, is that off of a surgical steel? I thought it was unfit for human consumption, but maybe uh, to look that thing up. I'd look the lyrics up. In fact, I'm just too curious now. I can't help myself. Uh, I 
I'm too, um, I just can't help myself now. Yes, it is unfit for human consumption. It goes, seductive lymphodentitis, delectable septic metritis, tempting glanders jaundice for human consumption unfit, portable melanosis, aron aronomatic mastitis, saporous brucellosis, cry havoc and let slip, salivating at the least straining, the cadaver dogs devouring, appetizing, deceased gastric dining, the cadaver dogs in cold blood, indulging sarcosis, epicurean perichitis, carolsis tender and lean, after all, you are what you eat, salivating. So yes, it is indeed unfit for human consumption. All right. all right, very good. So there's that. All right, there's your dust in a baggie instead of dust in a bottle. That's right, dust in a baggie. Yeah, pretty cool lyrics, are they not? Silverholic is here. You guys are going to want to check out Silverholic's channel, too. Silverholic, good guy. He uh, posts every Saturday morning, I believe at 9 a.m., like clockwork. And uh, so, yes, indeed, good to see Silverholic here. All right. Moving ahead here. Let's see. Make sure. Check out Silverholic. Uh, silver, a.k.a. lottery tickets, says Jay Grady Field, all right? Uh, well, silver is not like lottery tickets by any stretch. Um, but anyways, Gold Maple says U.S. has always been in the red and the national debt exceeding national revenue. There have only been two times the U.S. has been in a surplus in history during the administration of Andrew Jackson, that's right, and during the administration of Bill Clinton, 93 to 2001. Yes, that's true. Hey, true. Can we get back there again? I don't know. Mark Simmons says J.P. Morgan has almost a billion ounces and has manipulated the price for decades. Do listen to what they say. Don't listen to what they say and watch what they do. Yes, that's right. Well, that's why we accumulate gold and silver. Exactly why we accumulate gold and silver. All right. Hugh Mann thinks uh, platinum is about to blow up. Very good. Yes, indeed. All right. Okay, and Gold Maple kind of just expands beyond the last thing there with this comment. So we'll say the time there. Not selling until $3,000 an ounce, says Gold Eagle Coins. Very cool. All right. Very good. We shall see. Okay. Any cheap platinum at the moment? Right now, I'm not buying platinum. I just got that gold Royal Arms platinum coin. So that'll probably be the last platinum I'll buy for a while is my guess, but... All right. Silver will never be 2824. And manipulation of the U.S. government. That's right. Very good. Very good. Okay, let's see what we got up here. El Porcano says the wrong high reliefs issued by governments around the world debt to GDP worldwide 320%. That's true. That is a high relief we don't want. Let's talk about the markets now. What is happening? They are opening up here and uh, they're starting to creep back up. Uh, to where we thought they would go back down, just uh, where they had kind of uh, lost some of their gains. So gold is up seven dollars and twenty cents, point four one percent. Silver is up uh, almost a full percentage point, fifteen cents, sixteen dollars and eighty six cents. You know, I'm wondering they're, as they're kind of hovering here right now. You know, I'm, uh, I'm looking for seventeen dollars silver uh, before the end of the stream to see if it'll happen. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll see. But this uh, momentum. Starting here, will it continue with the London markets when they open up in hours from now? And then in New York, what will happen when those markets open up too? Platinum is over up over 2% now, $804. Crazy. Pamela Rice, she's my uh, treasurer. That's right. She is my treasurer. Welcome to the Secretary of Treasury. All right. Very good. Let's see. Let's get back here to these comments. Uh, Winter Wolf 2012 says, when Trump is dumped, silver will skyrocket. Yes, indeed. We'll see. We'll see. Hopefully it won't happen. Habibi Good, hello. Slurping for Barbara, she comes in. All right. Will Edwards, because of all the pork in the first stimulus bill, that $1,200 check we received will cost every taxpayer $12,000. Yeah, I've not heard that number, but I've heard it was somewhere around 16000 actually. I think for each of those checks going out, it's going to cost us $16,000. 
MJ, St. Ahmad, the $1,200 checks are only 1.6% of the stimulus. American taxpayers must pay for 100% of the $2 trillion, plus it results in dollars lower purchasing power. Exactly right. That's why it was not a good deal. That's right. All right. Very good. Okay. Okay, here's the same thing again. Logan, but we've already removed him. We'll remove that again. That's one. I've been pretty good about keeping up with these these uh, these bots, but once in a while, someone makes it through. Silver Honda, like I like when you make videos of the debt clock at times. It's a wake up call. The only debt we can control is our own personal debt. That's right. I saved part of my stimulus check money and tucked it away under my mattress. Well done, Silver Honda. Smart man, indeed. Yes, he is. All right. Very good. All right. Let's see. Okay, yeah, over 100 in the chat. We've got 129. Let's pause and take a look at the markets now because this is what it's about. We're looking at the market watch right now, keeping up what's what's going on in Asia. That's where the markets open first, always in Asia at 6 p.m. Eastern time. We've got gold hovering right around 1750 with almost a half a percentage increase. But silver is now making a pretty steady climb upwards. It's up over 1%, guys. $16.91. I think that is push-up worthy, don't you? All right. I like big bots, and I cannot lie. There you go, Alan Gold. Alan Gold, you give me the number of push-ups I should do. Uh, nothing crazy, Alan. It's got to be something realistic. How many push-ups am I going to do? Because silver is up over 1%. Platinum is over 2%. So let's see how many push-ups Alan Gold tells me to do here. As we look at these market, these numbers are moving. And uh, I want to try to get these push-ups in before the number goes below 1%. So uh, Alan has got to answer quickly with a serious, serious answer of how many push-ups I should do uh, in, in, in honor and in celebration of silver moving up a full percentage. 29. Okay, Alan Gold, that's going to be pushing them for me, but I'm going to try it here. This is going to be tough. All right. All right. I'm no silver wolverine when it comes to push-ups, but I'm going to give it a shot. 29 push-ups. Here we go. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, uh, 30, oh, oh, all right, 30, oh man, I've got to confess something, I did one more than 29, but two of those push-ups, I arched my back a little bit. So I don't feel like I met the Allen Gold standard there, but I came close. Oh, man. Good grief. Thank you, Alan. All right. Very good. How many atomic sit-ups can I do? Oh, my goodness. I don't even know what that is. But my guess, probably not very many. All right. Let's see here. Okay. So did silver go below 1% during those push-ups? Let's find out. Yes, it did go below 1% increase. It is now 0.93% upwards there. Very good. Wolfie, how can us normal plebes stay in shape during these times while working from home? Well, there's a myriad of different ways. Um, there's several different push-up styles you can do. In fact, Call Silver has a video showing those. Um, and you can do resistance exercises, which I need to do more of, planks, that type of thing. El Por Cano, thank you so much. New Zealand, $30, thank you so much. He says, impress ups. Wow. Thank you so much, sir. Wow, very kind indeed. An America Silver Patriot, Met Sal, that man is, thank you so much, my friend. By the way, you should check out America Silver Patriot's channel because he did a great sing along with, uh, I think it was the band was for today. That's what it sounded like it was, but thank you so much, my friend. Grow Mechanic says do burpees. Yeah, that's something I could try too. Um, where you, where you, uh, you do a push-up, you get up, and you jump. There's three things of it. I don't know. 
I know there's the jump, and then there's the push-up, but I'm not sure what the thing in the middle is. I killed the silver, says Throne and Cannabis. Thank you guys again for those, for those kind super chat donations. Very much appreciated indeed. Let's see here. Wreck them wrecker service. Silver to $666 by tomorrow. That would wreck it pretty good. Man, tell you what. All right. Hello, Juan Ortiz. And the silver britches. He just came on. I just did 29, or I actually did 30 push ups for Alan Gold. So that's why I'm a little out of breath. Sorry about that. Uh, I near, I near crap the chat. That's right. Indeed. All right. Very good to see you. Vanessa, just did the math, and yesterday I got 1.59 ounces of silver for $23.50, not to mention a whole lot more silver spot. Well, congratulations. Wow. If you can find silver spot these days, you're doing pretty good. Um, all right, very good. So let's get back to some of these comments now, guys. Um, American Super Tramp, I'm going to be super duper uber mega rich. There you go, brother. Yes, indeed. Actually, I tell people, don't think you can get rich off silver. Uh, no, no, no way. I would never some tell somebody that, all right? Uh, Guido Stacken, you mess with stocks. No, I don't. I know some people have talked about it, that there's um, ways to do it. I'm just too ignorant, uh, literally. Um, there's so much I don't know. And because of my ignorance on the subject, I don't know really where to put the money in. Because, see, I'm risk-averse. I'm very risk-averse. And not only that, but if I do make gains on it, I don't know how to report that to the IRS and things like that. Um, but anyways, but uh, thank you so much. All right, you guys are great. Let's see here. Uh, Rush Sherwood says, Sal, I'm back. I just don't know what to say about the way the government is doing this to all of us. Be strong, be safe, be blessed. Well, good to see you back, Rush. You're awesome. And, um, you know, it's just, this is what we can do. We have to do whatever we can to protect ourselves of what the dollar could be, because the more they they print, um, I believe this the closer we get to some sort of reset or revaluation of the dollar. And in that revaluation, more than likely, you and I are going to lose. We'll never lose with gold or silver, especially gold, in my opinion. Um, but even so, you've got to be very careful and understand what exactly you're doing when you stack gold and silver, and understand that the prices can go up. The prices can go down, and uh, you just have to keep going round and round. Let's see here. All right, very good. Corey Morell is here. Hello, Corey Morell. Good to see you. And I'm a pump chaser. That's right. Chasing that pump. Okay. Robin Hood portfolio right into TurboTax makes it super easy. Okay, that's cool. Very cool. Yeah, Guido, I probably need to look into that and i know robin hood is an app that's supposed to be pretty good i wonder about trades and stuff like that you know i guess every time you make a trade um you may have even posted a video about it i, I remember somebody golden eagle coins has posted a video about getting in the stock market um and talking about how you made some a good amount of money on it <clears throat> so yeah, I don't know. Maybe I might have to look into it. But I'm just so risk averse. I figured, you know, gold and, um, you know, I figured can't win. Can't, and plus, I like gold because you can look at it and hold it and touch it. And uh, same thing with the collectibles and stuff like that. But anyways, let's see here. Harvey Greensman is here. Good to see you. Steve Woods is here. Good to see all you guys. All right, let's get back here to the comments here. Kangaroo silver. There you go, Michelle. Michelle, kangaroo is silver. But that, I think what people missed about that, as I mentioned, there's a silver one, but they also make a platinum kangaroo too. Medium Man says, in 1915, the price of silver was adjusted for inflation, thirteen dollars and eight cents. Today it's sixteen sixty. What's sixteen sixty one? What's the problem? Uh, that's true. That's exactly right. Um, uh, adjusted for inflation, so that means, medium man, that silver is holding its own for uh, adjusted for inflation. Um, um, and that's kind of my point of a video I posted about it, that silver in the long run, uh, when you take into account the times that you buy and sell and add premiums to it, you got to keep in mind premiums, silver does um, uh, preserve your wealth. 
Very good point. Very good point. Joe Costello says, Hey, Sal, the debt clock game is brought to you by Milton Bradley. Soon, Uncle Sam dollar will be just as indistinguishable from a Monopoly game dollar bill. The Fed is the banker in real life game of Monopoly. They are buying up and own everything. Yes. Tell you what. I can just print it like a Tyler style. They're the bankers. Uh, let's see. How does the dollar reset after the effect of 401k? That's a good question, Silver Wolverine. Uh, my guess is they may be revalued in some way, too. Hopefully reflecting their actual value, but we'll see. Uh, I don't know. Because I don't know how they're, they're going to do this dollar reset and the timing of it. I would think it would be revalued, though. In some manner or form. Okay, let's see here. Good to see all you guys. Appreciate you guys. Let's pause and take a look at what the markets are doing right now. Uh, because there is some uh, excitement. The markets are opening up a little bit in the positive. Not by a whole lot, but enough to take some notice here. Uh, where gold is, uh, is at $3.40. Up only 0.2% here. Silver is over a, a half a point up. $16.80. Platinum is up $8, so it's taken a little bit of a back. Uh, these gains are uh, pulling back a little bit there. And uh, palladium is actually down just slightly here. So, yeah. All right, very good. Ozzy's here. Good to see you. Sterling Cannabis is still here. And Tricky Guy is here. Good to see you. And Way Deep Inside is here. And Cyber Curtain Twitcher is still with us. Yes, indeed. I had somebody ask me about where to get a CCT silver slide, and I told them. Hopefully, they'll get in touch with you. Days and Confused Stacker says, this is not the station to listen to with a hangover on a Sunday morning. Exactly right. There you go, brother. Not the place you want to have a hangover. That's right. Exactly right. Okay. Hey, no problem, Brent Dewey. Thank you for being here, Brent. Yes, indeed. He says, he says thanks for the live video tonight. Thank you. John Knapp is here. Must go allergy bad right now. See you all later. Have a good night. Well, John, I hope your allergy subsides soon. I'm very sorry you're having to deal with that. Man, I'm sorry, my friend. The Nepsters is here. Have a good night, sir. Feel better. All the brokerages charge zero for trades now. Zero for trades. That's good to hear. Nice. Barbara Carbone made it. She's a little late, but she's here. We have just a, a shy of lukewarm coffee to slurp in her honor. Here we go. Uh, Ken Kaufman predicts that Platinum will be up $50 this week. Well, right now, it is up uh, $8 right now. So we'll see. We can jump up more. We'll find out. America Silver Patriot. Hey, brother, right on. Thank you, America uh, Silver Patriot. Awesome guy. Thank you, sir. Yep. Time for another look at this chart. That's right. That's the one I did a video on that. Uh, very chart there, but you're right. Uh, Gorky, uh, Gorky on it. Can you please take the 10 coins and just shuffle them in your hands to hear the noise? I think I'm the only one that wants to hear it. So please make some noise. All right, we'll do that. We'll do that right now because I happen to have some that I can do that with here. Let's see here. I do have some coins nearby. Let me get one more here. And it should be in stereo too. You hear that in stereo, guys? Only three slides left in the U.S. Contact Mr. Vegeta for those. That's Vegeta, V-E-G-I-I. -I. Uh, Ken Kaufman. Um, uh, I did the 29, the 30 push-ups earlier, Ken. Yes, indeed. I might do some more later on. I'm feeling somewhat okay to do those. All right. Shane Wilmer sees... Uh, or Weimer, Shane Weimer sees silver breaking 17 this week. I'm hoping it'll it'll break that tonight. We'll see. Bullish on bullion says silver, finite tangible asset, underperforming the inflation rate of the U.S. dollar is what gives silver the greatest potential in the history of any asset class. Platinum is a close second. Additionally, I think the cost of mine silver is greater than the paper contracts that set the spot price too. Mining companies make the margins on gold. The silver byproduct is like more, likely more expensive than cost of mine, but the prices have been leveraged and manipulated by industry to keep their costs down. I think silver could potentially explode when global industry starts back up. 
There's a lagging supply due to most mines and refineries uh, being shut down. Now, that is very well could happen. The timing of the opening and the demand is going to be what could make or break silver in some ways. When I say break, it's because the opposite could happen if, uh, if, the, uh, if, if, if it goes the other way. But thank you so much, my friend, for that comment. Cyber Curtain Twitcher says, on comparing gold, silver, platinum, and palladium, he says, nice comparison, Sal, despite the mix-up of the metals. Glad to see your mom let you out of the basement for some daylight filming. Well, thank you, CCT. Yes, indeed, I'm out of the basement and was able to put on some shorts and not just a sweats and a wet t-shirt. All right, very good. Okay, all right, Dar Stacker is here. Good to see you, Bob Often in stereo. I'll put the headphones on. There you go. All right, I hope you heard that. Rocky Mountain Bears here. Spit them out, Sal. That's so gross. At you're remaking that last intro. That's right, no. I'm not making that intro, but all right, very good. So I forgot who asked for that silver clinking, but I hope they enjoyed it. Maybe they left before I did it. All right, there's another slurp, though, for Barbara. She enjoys that more than a girl can. Okay, we can see it, smell it. We can hear it almost anywhere. You, sir, made a grown-up man. Okay, very good. So it was it was Gorkonian. All right, thank you, my friend. I'm glad you enjoyed that. Dar Stacker, we talked about the demand due to the economy shut down. Start up an interview. That's right, we did. For those who are wondering, Dar Stacker interviewed me. Check out his channel for that interview if you haven't seen it yet. Thank you, sir. Pathfinder says, Sal, we need you to do an all-night live YouTube stream tonight. Oh, my goodness, Pathfinder. Wow, you know, I think my voice would probably be shot. I tell you, yeah. Doing this for uh, two hours is uh, it, it, and because I'm talking pretty much almost constantly in it to keep people interested and also just respond to the comments and stuff like that. But boy, I tell you what, um, and I don't know, uh, I think you can only go eight hours. I, I don't know if I can go any more than that, but Pathfinder, yeah, that would be quite a quite a uh, task to do. But thank you, sir, appreciate it. All right, very good. Let's see, here. Rick. Everybody stop for a second. Go hit the like button. Thank you, Rick. I appreciate that. It is nice when you guys hit that like button. In fact, uh, it does help with the algorithm to get the video noticed on the other videos as well. Very good. Thank you, sir. All right. Let's see here. Thanks. Uh, yeah, go. Screw Monday. Go all night, says Wolfie. There you go. Silverholic is our newest honorary citizen. Thank you, Silverholic. You are the man. Very kind of you, sir. All right. Uh, tricky guys, silver is the people's gold. What headlines would trigger the hoi poi into acting on the fiat crisis and buy silver since gold is more expensive? I'll at least start with silver. I think that is the hope for silver. And I think that is what we saw with this big sell-off and with the prices even going down as people wanted silver. So I think tricky guy, you hit the nail on the head. Um, but I don't know what, the, I think the headline that would trigger the hoi poi into acting on the fiat crisis and gets uh, to buy silver since gold is more expensive is increasing gold prices. And uh, and I think that is what's going to do it or or if they pass this more stimulus measure. But that may not even necessarily do it. I think it's going to be more bad economic news. Um, you know, a sustained uh, low unemployment and that type of thing, I think, is what will do it. So we'll see. We'll see. It's going to be... Interesting to see what happens for sure, but anyways, all right, very good. Mm. All right, where are we at? Okay, silver and digibyte equals uh, heart. Yes, I don't know what digibyte is, but um, I'm all on board with the silver thing. Swacky says our economy is beyond repair at this point. It's just a matter of time now. Just hope we and we care about. We and those who we care about make it through the other side. Don't really think SHTF will happen in our lifetime, though. Yes, I agree. I don't think we'll get to an actual SHTF scenario. But um, um, I believe what's beyond our point is the debt. I mean, there's no way they can keep this debt up. Um, oh, and Brent Dewey says, Silver Bridges told me to. Well, thank you. Thank you, Silver Bridges. And thank you, Brent Dewey, for that super chat. Uh, yes, indeed. It would been a little bit of help. So thank you so much, my friend. Very, very kind of you, indeed. Silver Britches made them do it, everybody. I've got a ha hot bathhouse date. That's right. I like to, what I like to do is sit in the tub alone with a bubble bath with with the news unit live stream playing. And, uh, you know what I mean? I just, I just sit and veg with the news unit uh, with black screen with nothing going on with people chatting and a, me in a hot tub with bubbles. 
You know, that's what I do when I'm done with the chats. That's why I can't go all night, because i got to be able to do that. Silver Bridges is denying any culpability in that super chat. Oh, my goodness gracious. He did not do it. He denies it. Oh, my gosh. Michelle, I want to use silver for most purchases and gold for larger purchases as we did in the old days. Yes, it would be nice. All right. Digibyte. Digibyte is a crypto. Okay. I thought it was. Figured it was something. I just never heard of that crypto. Very good. All right. Let's have another slurp coffee there. B&B &B says, I think within 20 years or less, the new world will be made. The globalists will squeeze the earth from all the sides, west, east, north, and south. Well, if you believe in a flat earth, it can only happen from the edges. So, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I hear you, B&B. &B. David Simmons says, it's amazing how this video was posted one hour ago, and the dollar to silver ratio already increased from 28.24 to 28.25. Wow. It's moving on up. It's winding up. Wow, thank you. All right. Let's see. Has Sally ever heard of the old platinum lighter? No, I've not heard of that, Corey. The old platinum lighter. Okay. Pulling out a bong, Sally. Yes, indeed. No bong. This is purely coffee, I swear. Mm. Eddie's little stack is here. Hello, Eddie's little stack. Good to see you. Uh, Rob uh, Bird says the stupid metal dollar ratios are consistently misleading. Two dollars and sixty-four cents in nineteen thirteen is worth sixty-eight dollars and thirty-seven cents today with inflation. Um, and uh, does that mean that gold is overpriced? I guess it's good to shock naive people, but it's not the same as inflation, and it's not useful. Uh, well, that's right, and I, that's what I try to explain, Rob. When I explain this, I'm not talking about inflation at all. What this with the dollar to silver ratio, why it's so important, and same thing with the dollar to gold ratio, because it tells you how many dollars are printed year on year. How many dollar bills are printed, no matter what they're worth, it's the amount of C notes that are in circulation either digitally or um, physically, compared to how much silver is mined per year. And it means that, that we're headed for inflation. Never once said that it's the same as inflation. Let's make that clear. I think, uh, I don't know if he was necessarily accusing me of that, but uh, they're not misleading. Not in any way. You just have to understand what they are. All right, let's see here. Uh, dove season. I'm going to jump in the pool before firing up the grill. Man, dove season. Uh, have a good time, my friend. It sounds like a great evening there and not Maricopa. You're not Maricopa County. Uh, are you Are you in Maricopa? Or are you, uh... Anyways. Wherever you're at, and you're in Arizona where it's really hot, hot, hot in Arizona. So he needs to cool off. Man, he needs to start a fire and turn up his heat in his house. Or sit outside in the hot sun and just bake. No, I'm kidding. I don't want to bake out there. It's pretty hot in there in Arizona. Beautiful state, though. Wake up, crypto zombies. And I'm not going to click on this link. Why? Because I don't know where that link's been. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be more careful about that. Bill Vell says... Near 3K, let's explore. I laughed when I laughed. You said, I'll get a check for 3T. Uh, that's going to get costly. It's certainly going we'll get a very little bit, little bit pricey here indeed. All right, very good. Maricopa, it is a Maricopa. All right. Maricopa, Maricopa. CCT, even a tenth of that would be nice. Yes, indeed, it would be. Can you imagine? All right. Dove season does some great shooting out there in Maricopa County. The home place of Sheriff Arpaio, I think. John Smith says debt is uh, not as important as long as it does not cost anything. And debt is not important as long as it doesn't cost anything. That's right. Well, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do about this. Apparently not now. We're just accumulating more of it. Frank Saladivar says... Patience in normal market times, gold and silver are a means to protect oneself from the volatility of the market and preserve wealth. There's only one time to really make money in precious metals, and that is the monetary reset. When the fiat currency is printed to oblivion and its value is toilet paper, uh, gold will skyrocket and silver will follow. Right now, it's 115 to 1 silver ratio, higher than it's been in its 5,000-year history. <laughs> the unfolding of world events is accelerating the process, but it will not under unfold overnight. Until it unfolds overnight. So get ready. So it could happen pretty quickly. And whatever will happen. For sure. And a lot has happened pretty quickly too. Alright. Very good. 
Uh, he also says, and now from one sow to another, I'm going to jam on my axe. There you go, Frank. Awesome. He's another sow, too. Yes, and the Sally de Divar. Pretty cool. All right. Sterling Cannabis will be back. He's going to take his puppy for a walk. All right, my friend. Okay. Let's pause here now, guys, and take a look at what the markets are doing. Because we do look at this markets as well as uh, do the comment review. So right now, uh, these increases that we saw at the very beginning of the night have started to pull back a little bit. Yay, though, they are still um, in the plus, in the green, except for palladium. Uh, gold is up a quarter point uh, to $4.40, increased to $17.47. Silver is holding on uh, with a 12 uh Cent increase over a half percent point now at this point, but it's sixteen dollars and eighty-three cents. Unlikely, in my view, that we'll see seventeen dollars before the end of uh, this live stream, though. All right, okay. Take care, Glocksman uh, Forty, Glocks SM Forty. Thank you so much, my friend, for being here. Have a good night. All right, and again, I apologize if I don't uh, get to. Uh, if you ask me a question in the chat side, if you just type my name out with no space in between. Uh, then, um, then it will, um, then I will uh, be able to see you and be able to respond easier than I would otherwise. But thanks, Glock, Glock SM40. Appreciate it. All right. Uh, the Nepster says the Chinese Empire was bought and sold for twenty-seven thousand ounces of silver, and Louisiana purchase was at one ounce of silver for forty-five acres of land. I think we'll be able to buy one acre of land with one ounce of silver. Well, the Nepsters. I disagree with that, although I understand what you're talking about in theory, but silver has been uh, exponentially produced since 1900. They've been yanking it out of ground at a much faster pace, which uh, essentially, you look at from 1900 up, we've had a, what would be considered a quantitative easing in a, in a geophysical sense uh, for silver. Uh, so that's why. Donna, New Mexico has typed my name out correctly. He didn't even have to put the uh, at sign in front of it. It was still turned. Would it still have turned, all right? All right, very good. All right, breaking news, everybody. Uh, Greta Thunberg is an expert about COVID-19. Well, I, this, I, I, it gives me a lot more confidence with, with her on that CNN panel, I tell you. Because who should you trust? How dare you trust anybody else but Greta Thunberg? All right, let's see here. Very good. Okay, let's see here. Tom P. says, I heard it's up to $16 trillion and scum in D.C. gave 95% to the big, rich, and powerful. What else is new? Well, a lot of that, some of these bailouts and stuff like that do uh, are unevenly distributed, distributed. but, um, you know, I don't know. I digress. Let's see here. All right. Old Man Jenkins says, I have a question. Does a toned coin tone others? If I stack the toned silver coin with a non-tone, Will the toning spread? Um, if they're in the same environment, yes, I think they possibly could. Because, see, it involves a little bit of sulfur and other kind of uh, impurities in the air to cause it. So if you take a tone coin and put it in with a non-tone coin in pure air, I think some of the elements of the toning could potentially get on the other coin, but maybe not. We shall see. All right, let's see here. All right. Ah, uh, Losing Louie says, Hey, Sal, I think there's someone impersonating you on a Gmail I just got. Uh, something about a revenue opportunity. This came from salavatmeto at gmail.com. You must explore this with the other subs. I'll let you know if they respond to me. Okay, wow, Losing Louie. That's crazy. Oh, boy. I uh, don't know how that could have happened. I'll have to look into that. Yeah, don't ever. If you see something from any email address that looks anything like mine or anything else, let me know. Um, that's not good. But it looks like it's saying uh, it's spelled differently, though. It's not spelled exactly like mine, right, Losing Louie? Wow, that's scary. Donna, New Mexico. Sal, you don't like how Trump has been distributing disaster relief funds? I don't either. The Trump slump will never end the dump, dump, dump. Well, it's not just Trump. 
It's the Congress, too. Congress wrote it. Trump signed it. Um, but, you know, the thing is, is his hands were kind of tied. Ozzy, oh yeah, Sullivan Middle 8 got same email. Is it from, what's the email address, uh, Ozzy? Does it say salivate metal spelled correctly or does it say salivate metal spelled like this? Because that's crazy. Metal, yeah, that's weird. See, the thing is, is my guess is they probably got crawlers out there to find channels and things like that or whatever. But yeah. I'd be curious to see if there's anything like that from any other type of thing. That's crazy. Uh, HSBC are crooks first class. All right. Yes, they are. Well, I don't know. I don't know if they're crooks or not, but they're going to be not dealing with metals anymore. Timothy Whittington says, interesting. Thank you, sir. Yes. Pretty wild. Two separate words. Okay, yeah, I'm curious, Ozzy. Hello, Tony Ricci. Good to see you. Okay, Wild Turkey. Hey, Sal. Excellent upload as usual. I bought five ASCs. I'm an LCS this week at 23 each. Atmex and Provident were over 25. He's an Atmex partner or some such. So he knew full well he was giving me decent price. My last Route 66 Silver and, and a couple of ASCs should ship from Atmex this week. Slow and steady. The ounces are adding up. Yes, they sure are. Congratulations. Very good. I still need to get the last two of those. Seduced by Silver. Good to see Seduced by Silver. Been a little while. Uh, she's hopeful there may be some financial benefits that PMs can offer during this or after this crisis. But if not, at least my grand or children and grandchildren will have an inheritance for their future. That's very true. Exactly right. Very true. All right. Uh, okay, Ozzy, Al Ozzy Alchemist. It says salivate metal on it. That's crazy. What is the actual email address, though, Ozzy Alchemist? That's not good. I wonder how they're get how they got that information or how they're somehow tricking you with my name. Carlos Danger says, anyone know why fiat is going to zero? This is one million of reasons right here. Can't wait for the Idiocracy Commemorative Edition in 2021. Yes, indeed. And by the way, I don't think I've ever sent um, Ozzy an email. So, uh, and it's been a long time since I sent one to Losing Louie. So that is very odd that Ozzy would get that. Mr. A says, Sal, I don't see inflation until we experience deflation first, so I think there will be a big lag in silver uh, spot price until we see inflation first. Um, yeah, I think everyone may be. We've got to be patient through this before it goes up, and I think, think they will go up. So, yeah, Ozzy, let me know what that email address is. Very curious. Great video, man. So, Silver Beach Bomb. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Let's take a look at what the market's doing while we wait here. Uh, so, the they're kind of pulling back a little bit, but still in the plus. Um, gold is at 0.36% increase. at 1749.40. That's $6.20 increase. And silver is up $0.08. Cents. Salivate mate. Okay, metal. Okay, salivate... Metal. Okay, so they changed the uh, the E and the A, right? They changed the E and the A, but the rest of it's spelled correctly. So, um, Losing Louie either may have, um, I don't know, Losing Louie may have gotten a different email and they use a different kind of thing, but that's not my email, but yeah, it's crazy. So, you were, you were wise to, to ignore that. That was not me. So these scammers, I'll tell you what, these scammers need to be put in jail. I wish they could find these guys and stop them because it makes me look bad if somebody's not wise to it and then they click on it. Yeah, they swap the letters. I might have to do a video on that. I don't know if they're using anybody else's email address or like that, but that's not good. Thanks for making me aware of it. All right. Let's see here. Robert Holyoke says, You're seeing more than 100 for silver, more like 300 plus. Mike Maloney explains it better. Um, well, I'm not even saying 100. Um, 
I'm not saying it's going to go to 100 or even 50 at this point. I don't know. It's going to take quite a while for that to happen. All right, very good. All right, thank you. Not my style to sell me BTC. Very good. Thank you, Ozzy. I appreciate that. Yes, indeed. Salivate Metal Friggin' India. That's right. Yep. Uh, let's see here. Oh, man, it's 7 p.m. People are hanging out their windows, banging pots and pans in D.C. Uh, if you go to Hardworking Vegan, I think it's the channel name, Pamela Rice is, uh, has uh, documented some of the footage of uh, what New York City is like on Manhattan Island right now. And uh, she posted one uh, from Mulberry Street, I think. And definitely has something to see, I tell you what. Stephen Grafham is here. Good to see you. Welcome, sir. Hope you're doing well. This is just weird, says Flat Fiat Destroyer. Yes, it is a little bit strained. I agree. Coins A to Z. Unprecedented, never before imagined levels of debt under the debt, loving Trump administration and Republican controlled Senate. The country is suffering under Republicans. The Silver Phoenix will rise from the ashes of this destroyed republic. Well, the country is suffering under Democrats and Republicans. Um, uh, the debt can be blamed equally on both parties. There's no question about that. Um, but silver and gold will rise, uh, for sure. Hard News Vegan, that's it, Hard News Vegan. I keep forgetting the, the name of the channel there. Medium Man, they bang pots and pans here on Mondays at 7. Okay, in Canada. Very What's, what are we doing for the captions? Who is doing the captions for dead people? For deaf people. For us deaf people, I'm not sure. Free delivery in USA. Robert Yang. Silver will go to 150 or higher. You are being conservative. Yes, I don't think it's going to go anywhere near that. Silver Game of Thrones. I don't typically see these. If you Guys, I would just encourage you not to post links in, in, in the comments. I've, I've actually thought about disabling link postings in the comments. Not on, not on here, but on the comments, because uh, it's very difficult to um, for me to see those at times. And if you just post a comment with a link, who knows what it is? And I can go through and check it, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm checking all these links now. I'm, I'm running them through a, a URL scanner before I click on anything, even if it says YouTube.com. Better be safe than sorry. All right, very good. <clears throat> Stacking and packing says it's always amazed me through the years how when it comes to government spending anything for the people it's considered unnecessary spending and taking on debt. When it comes to tax cuts, spending for the rich in corporate America, it is necessary. The ship is going down. The question is, are you going to vote to give more rich corporations in the U.S.? Or are you going to vote to give something back your way? Either way, the ship is going to sink. You need to decide. Uh, life preservers for everyone, not just more lifeboats for the rich. Well, the thing is, is the rich pay the majority of the taxes. Um, and I don't know of anybody who works anywhere who doesn't work for somebody who's rich. Even if you work in government, even if you work for the federal government, who is paying the majority of taxes in this country? It's the rich. Uh, my feeling is, is you give more people back, you give people back more of their money, regardless I don't care about class warfare. I don't care how much money you make. You know better, better how to make that dollar work for you and for others than uh, than, than 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 anything else. Um, so that's kind of the that's kind of the that's kind of the thing about tax cuts. Now these bailouts and these handouts that's a different matter. We should have a payroll tax cut is what should have happened probably from the beginning. And help those people who are on, um, who are unemployed, extend unemployment for those folks, and uh, and give the money to business to keep the people on their payroll, so that they continue to pay taxes through this thing. That would have been the solution for that. But anyways, but in, in general, though, I am for tax cuts, and I'm for tax cuts across the board uh, for everybody. But anyways, that's a whole other subject. But the rich, I have no problem with the rich. The rich are the biggest contributors to um, uh, uh, to the success of this country. So anyways, all right. Uh, Brent Dewey, Sal calling 100 ounce silver. And there you go. Well, there you go. Did I say 100 ounce? I probably was saying 100. But yeah, there you go. I'm calling 100 ounce silver. 
I was, it's always good to have 100 ounces of silver. That's right, Brent Dewey. I probably got t twisted. Probably meant to say $100 silver. Coins USA, hello. Good to see you. All right, very good. Let's see here. All right. Spiff V says, No, Sal, the stimulus was for illegals, not American citizens like the last bill. Well, I, if you heard me, Spiff, I mentioned in this video that this $3 trillion stimulus is for everybody in the United States, including those that aren't here legally. So I did say it was for illegals. Uh, but anyways, and they fund sanctuary cities and Planned Parenthood. So yes, you didn't, I think you must have misheard me, but I think this newest bill that's being touted by Nancy Pelosi is going to be funding for uh, every person in the United States, including those not here legally. Uh, that's right. Dan Katz. Yeah, government pisses it away like trash. Yes, indeed. They don't, and that's just it. I, if we, if they had the accountability of a business or a state, see, states can't go into debt. They have to have their uh, balance. They have to balance their budgets. They have to, because states can't print money. Local governments can't print money, but the federal government can. So they're more inclined to waste money at the federal level than they are at the state level. Uh, for sure. But uh, indeed. And so let's see here. If you were suddenly doxxed and the whole internet knew your name and address, how fast would you remove all metal from your home? Uh, well, tricky guy. I've already done that. Uh, you've not probably not heard uh, some of my videos, uh, but I don't store that stuff here. I already got it away other places. You know what I mean? It's already done. And by the way, it's already happened. Remember, this community already did do that. But uh, we've already got stuff in, in place anyway. It's always good to store your metals in not just one other location, but multiple locations. Yes, indeed. Store them in multiple locations. And not at your location. Not at home. It's someplace else. It's always wise to do that. Let's see here. Hillbilly Prepping, I will be selling produce about two times the price of last year so I can afford some beef that doubled in price around here. Yes, I know. Some of the beef stuff has gone up. The meat's been tough to find. Yeah, not my pocket piece. That's right, tricky guy. That's right. And by the way, it's good to have security. I've got a surveillance system here at the house. Anyways, just for personal security. And... The other key is, is guns. Guns and more guns with lots of bullets. And anybody comes inside my home, it does. if I don't know who they are, they break in unannounced, they're dead. They are dead. It's, a, it's an immediate threat. Somebody enters my home and uh, unannounced, well, you can be met with deadly force. That's, the, that's another thing, too. I, I, I take that very seriously. It's, uh, you know, it's a, the, your home is your sanctuary. You do not want to enter someone's home unannounced uh, anywhere. <clears throat> Let's see here. Matt Newman says, I see their credit card debt is actually going down. That's surprising. Yeah, I am actually amazed at that, too. I didn't look at that on there, but I've heard that. It was, it was averaging uh, $14,000, and they say it's going down a little bit now because I've heard, like, uh, between eight and 10000 now, so that is something. All right, let's see here. <clears throat> okay. So, Sal, I'm giving you back your key. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, you're always welcome here, Barbara, because you're, you're, you'd be a welcome guest. You'd be met with open arms, you know what I'm saying? Yes, indeed. Uh, Mr. Vegeta is here. Inform your viewers to check out my one ounce silver giveaway. Just got over 7,000 subscribers. Congratulations to Mr. Vegeta. He's doing a one ounce silver giveaway. Check his channel out. Yes, indeed. All right. Your average pistol costs $2,500. Your guns are your other asset. That's right. Exactly. All right. Very good. Uh, here in Canada, you go to jail if you shoot a burglar. Uh, you know what? In some parts of the United States, you do too. But I will take that bet. I will take that bet. Um, I'm not going to risk, you know what I mean? It's, uh, yeah. Anyways, let's see here. No, Barbara would not, but she'd be welcome with open arms. 
Let's see here. Pretty good. Okay. What did Brent do, we say? Look at my comment. Oh, okay, okay. Let's get to Brent's comment. Brent's comment. Here's Brent's comment. Uh, oh, only way they can get out of this mess is to raise taxes on a major or a major devalue of the dollar, which is still a tax increase. That's right. Several countries are in serious trouble. I joke with my wife, Sal. This is why we have a home in the, in the Cebu, Philippines, where she is from. Our exit strategy. Now, there you go. Yeah, sometimes it's good. I know some people say Belize or Singapore or other places to go or Costa Rica when SHTF, they just split. And so Brent's wife, lovely wife, they can just go to the Philippines. Very good. Nice. Thanks, Brent. All is one now is here. Part-time preppers. Is part-time preppers here? He is. Part-time preppers. All right. Yes, indeed. Good to see part-time preppers. Welcome, my friend. Silver Hair Stacker is here. A lot of good folks popping in. Let's see what the market's doing, shall we? What is the market's doing? The market is reacting. Uh, it's starting to creep up a little bit again. Uh, it had done a pretty big advance and then pulled back a little bit. Always has stayed in the green except for palladium. But here's what's happening now. Gold is up almost a half a point. Uh, 1751.60. Silver's up 14 cents, 81.81% uh, per, increase, $16.85. I don't think we're going to see $17 silver tonight. We're not going to see it, I don't think, tonight. Platinum is up 14 bucks. Very good. All right. Very good. Nice to see you guys. Okay. So we have part time preppers here who we don't see a whole lot. And we have Silver Hair Stacker here. All right. So part time preppers, you, my friend. Hello, son of a silver stacker. Good to see you. Part-time preppers. Tell me how many push-ups I should do. Um, how many push-ups should I do top part-time preppers? Brent Dewey, thank you for that super chat, my friend. For reading your comment. That's a good one. Thanks so much, my friend. Appreciate it. So part-time preppers, tell me how many push-ups I should do. And Larry Whittington is here. Good to see Larry. And Gold Chick Vodafell is here. All right. Mm. All right, take care, Silver Drill Pickle. The pickle is out. He is out. Do you think the gold ratio is a metric that gives insight to the economy? Why isn't it tracked? Um, I think it is to a point, but uh, but in this day and age, everything's been so out of whack, it's hard to see. Silver Wolverine. No, we won't do 43. I did 30 earlier. Seven is lucky. Okay, part-time preppers did seven. Okay, thank you. We'll do seven right now. And we're going to ask Silver Hair Stacker next how many to do. So here's seven for part-time preppers. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, part time preppers. I mean, uh, so we did seven for part time preppers. Now we need to do some for uh, Silver Hair Stacker. Silver Hair Stacker, how many do I do? How many do I do? How many do I do for Silver Hair Stacker? Is he still here? Or is he packing up some stuff to sell on eBay? Handstand push-ups. Oh my gosh, to match the silver price. Man, I'd fall over. I'd fall over. Wow. Let's see. How many we're we gonna do? We got uh iced tea slurp. Here we go. Repeat day 74 and go south go. This is Barbara. Thank you. I got my stem check and gold goes up. I know, don't you hate that gold check? That sucks. Awesome super chat, one dollar for each one. There you go. Yeah, that would be thing. Yes, yeah, yeah, Brent, uh one for each ton of my stack. There you go. Oh, man, that would be only one push-up then, right, Silver Hair? Um, so we did a super chat fake. We did a, uh, for the first time, it was either the last time or the one time before. Yeah, the part-time preppers, I'm getting a little better at the push-ups these days. But um, what it did is a push-up challenge, a super chat push-up challenge for each dollar donated, I would do that many push-ups. Uh, but, yeah, so don't donate too many. But that was that was one thing that somebody did last time, and they were doing it. I think uh, like two people did a push-up challenge, or maybe it was one. But anyways, all right. Chickas, hey, by the way, Alan Gold, Chickas, uh, he came in my channel. He's under a different name now. He commented on my channel, Chickas did. Uh, do one long push-up and make it last for one minute. Yeah, now that would be tough to do. Yes, indeed. That would be really tough to do, do one push-ups and do it. One minute. Prepping metals due to five. Silver Liming 79 is here. Silver Liming, good guy. How you doing, my friend? Hope you're doing well. Good to see you. 
All right. Silver Limey. All right. So there we go. Let's get back to these channel comments now, guys. And we're going to come back to that. Uh, mene Mene Tekel. Thank you. Like always, a pleasure to hear you discuss the true value of silver. I was searching a few places, and according to AmericanBullion.com, the average production cost per ounce of silver is about $10.56. Um, I've heard other miners do it for under 8 bucks. Either way, I wish it would go back to 25 big ones. My break even cost. Well, yeah, if you do primary silver mining, that's going to be more expensive. Silver mine is a byproduct of other metals. It's down in like four, three, four, five, six dollar range. Yes, indeed. Everybody subscribe to Silver Limey if you haven't. Got a good channel. Uh, Donald New Mexico says, do a real push-up. Yes, indeed. Uh, let's see. SGM. What about SGM? What are you talking about? Alan Gold February obituary. Were you kidding me? Silver Gold Man died. Can you email me about that? That's not good. Alan Gold, can you send me that obituary? I hope that's not true. I hope that's just a sick joke. YM, yes, Chigas is still alive. He actually responded, uh, made a comment on my video. He said, this is Chigas. I'm like, whoa, dude, I haven't seen you in forever. But I do hope Silver Goldman is okay. I hope that's just a sick joke. Uh, Mark B, salivate, salivate metal. So who do we owe the debt to ourselves? Uh, in theory, we are the people, right? We the people, the United States of America. Um, yes, it's to ourselves. Chigas, February bitch where Well, he just responded. You know what? I'm going to look at this thing here. Let me see. Let me see if I can find this. Let me see if I can find this. There it is, Gringo Spunkstein from four days ago. Fake news, Alan Gold. Fake news. Fake news. Send me that obituary. Your old buddy Dick Chiggas. There he is. Gringo Spunkstein. Let's see here. This channel looks like here. Look, he even has... All right, anyways, okay, enough of that. Let's get back down here. Now we got to get all, all the way back down here. Now, you made me lose my place. You made me lose my place, Alan Gold. Let's see here. We're going to boogie on down to Electric Avenue here. Gonna take, send me that email anyway that I bet you. Okay, yeah, thank you. I'm curious. About Silver Gold Man, too. I hope he's okay. Even though he was definitely not, he definitely hated me big time. Silver Gold Man. I think he hated everybody though, I think. Okay, let's see here. Where are we at? Where is this thing? Come on. Come on. A lot of comments here, guys. More than I thought. Tomoka's Enterprise, look at the numbers fly. I'm so grateful for, for our SHTF stash. We have the contingency to put away a four-figure price in silver. Uh, would be something. It sure would. Can you imagine that? We, we'd be down and out like Beverly Hills. Yeah, I'm still going, Michael Kerbrin. Okay, Michael Kerbrin. Uh, now, since you don't come here as much, you tell me the number of push-ups I should do, and I will do them. Be gentle. I'm not as strong as you are. Um... Okay, Barbara Carbone says, sorry, I haven't commented on your videos. It's been turning off on my phone after work because I've been getting too dependent on it since like that. Okay, yeah, no worries. I understand, Barbara. No worries at all. I appreciate you. Yeah, you got to do what's healthy for you. And uh, I can understand sometimes you get too um, addicted to the phones and stuff like that. So Michael Kerbin's going to tell me how many push-ups to do. And uh, let's see what he tells me. Again, check out his channel, Michael Kerbin. He's been doing some really cool stuff, uh, unique and innovative stuff with silver and also with catalog at 34. Dude, wow, man, um, that's going to be tough. Let me try it. I'm not nearly as as, as, a, as, as as fit as other people like Silver Wolverine, but I'm going to give it a shot. 34. Oh, man, here we go. Oh, boy, can I do it? 
uh, Brent Dewey. Let's see if I can do it. 34 push-ups. Here we go. I might teeter out, but I'll give it a shot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. 26, 27, 28, 29, uh, 30. Oh, and I could barely get that 30 in. Oh, dang it. Oh, sorry. Oh, shoot. Sorry about that, Mike. I couldn't quite do it. That's about my limit, honestly. I was surprised I was able to get the previous 30 in. Oh, shoot. Oh, my gosh. Anyways. Yeah, if you get... If you subscribe to Michael Cabrin, he can do a live stream, like I'm doing, and I'll be able to show you some of the stuff he's working on. All right. Oh, shoot. Let's see here. Let's see, okay. Next one, find examples of each. Oh, thank you, sir. All this one now. I wanted to do this video in different lighting with the with the four different precious metals, and it's so unique. That year was the first year that the Royal Canadian Mint offered all four of them. I don't know that you can get palladium. I don't know that you can get palladium uh, maples anymore. Has anybody seen a palladium maple leaf? For 2020, that is. Okay, where are we at? Okay, let's see here. Let's see here. Okay, Palladium Please. There you go, says F-I-L. Yes, indeed. Palladium Please. <clears throat> Silver Honda, like number 10. Sorry, Sal, couldn't watch your video. No worries, my friend. No worries at all. Okay, metals, okay, Brent Dewey says the metals are climbing up stronger now, and he is right. Thank you, Brent. Uh, gold is up 0.61%. It is uh, $10.70 up now, and silver is 1.35% up. Look at that. It is $16.94 right now, guys. $16.94. Will it hit $17? Whoa, lost for words. Says it's at seventeen dollars now. Thanks for the super chat, by the way. Seventeen. Where do you see in seventeen? Uh, maybe it's a. Uh, maybe you're looking at a different market here or different source, and it very well could get to seventeen. That's one of the things I said earlier. Is uh, be on the watch out that if it gets hit seventeen, then um, uh, if it, once it hits seventeen, um, we'll look for that tonight. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I'm uh, still a little catching my breath here a little bit. Mark B., my brother mailed me his father-in-law's coin collection. It's cool. Good stuff. I'm glad you got it. I'm glad you prevented him from spending it. Uh, okay, Silver Gold Bowl is 2020 Platinum Maple. Very good. Do they have a Palladium Maple, though? Pamela Rice has a Palladium Ballerina, the, my most prized possession. Yes, that is really cool. We had a uh, a YouTuber on here who had that coin as her profile picture called PD Ballerina. Yeah, where's Terry? Where's Terry? I want to know where Terry is. Pudenda was here earlier. I wonder where she's at. Let's have another slurp of coffee for Barb. Mm. Are we looking at the future, says Brent. Okay. Yeah, maybe looking at the futures. Yeah, we're looking at the spot price. Let's we'll see the spot price. Sixteen ninety three now. So we'll we'll come back and check that out. JM Bullion, okay. <clears throat> yeah, I try to stay away from the bullion dealers. Um, Atmex is at 1710, and uh, because they typically have higher spot prices um, than than Kitco. Yes, indeed. So I look at Kitco, and there's a couple of other places too. People have told me about, but uh, anyways, let's get back up here. Trevor Point says you and Yankee stacking voices sound a lot like. Really, Trevor Point. You know what? Um, I think you're insulting uh, Yankee stacking because um, 
he would probably be very insulted if, if, if you said it's he's, that I sounded like him. But thank you, Turbo Points. I don't see it, or I don't hear it, but anyways. All right, Cyber Curtain Twitcher's got to head out. Uh, have a great night. Later. Take care, Cyber Curtain Twitcher. You're, you're, you, if, you, if, you, if you don't stay around, though, you're going to miss Pudenda twerking for us. I've, I've heard it. It's going to happen. But that's okay, Cyber Curtain Twitcher. You need your, your bedtime, so it's okay. Maybe we can get Barbara Carbone to twerk for us because if I drink enough coffee, maybe. Or slurp it. Slurp it. Slurp it. Got a disc jockey voice. And right now, we're going to spin for you. Here's a classic from the 1950s. Here's, this, is, this is Cattle Decapitation with uh, Smell My Corpse. No, anyway, no, I'm kidding. I don't know. All right. A nice leaf, says old man Jenkins. Thank you, old man Jenkins. Thank you so much. Okay. Let's see here. Palladium maples from 2005 to 2010, though Kitco is claiming a sell in 2015 U.S. only. Okay, very good. See, I've not seen a 2016 palladium or any other maple leaf palladium other than from those years 2005 to 2010. In fact, I've not even seen a 2010 Palladium maple. I've seen a two. I have a 2009 palladium. But anyways, all right. Uh, Mene Mene Takel is here. Hello, sir. Welcome. All right, Corey Morell. I'm not going to read all of this, but uh, thank you. He likes to see the four maple leaves together. Uh, that's awesome. I truly do wonder though, what is the stops people from making ruthenium, osmium, and iridium bullion when there's platinum palladium? What is it that stops? I think it's because they're extra rare. And they're not as recognizable, and uh, so it's really not worth it to do it. Uh, because same thing with rhodium. In fact, I'm surprised we were able to see some rhodium. I think the only reason why rhodium was is because it is tracked um, by as a precious metal, and so that was done. Whereas iridium, ruthenium, and osmium aren't. Repite seventy four just got home from work. I'm a little wound up. What's up? We're just chilling like Bob Dylan here. Repite. I thought you were in here earlier. Your hands are quite shaky during your video. Do you have COVID tremors? Uh, oh. Oh, I don't know what was going on there. No, I don't have COVID tremors. Uh, you talking about this video for the comparing gold, silver, and palladium, platinum and palladium? Very nice. I wonder if the RCM will uh, ever be able to make rhodium maple leaf. Uh, from what I understand, that metal is extremely difficult to work with. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It appears to strike okay on the bar I've got, but yeah, I kind of doubt they will do. All right. Russ Sherwood says, Sal, the only way for me to tell the difference between the three silver-shaded ones is to read the words on them. They all look the same except the gold. Great info, great video. Be strong. Thank you. Yeah, you got to kind of look closely, but they do, they do look a little different. Even in this thumbnail, to me, they look a little different. Joseph O'Kane says, great vid, Sal. Always informative. I'm going to send you some coin handling gloves. Oh, well, thank you, Joseph. Yes, indeed. I typically just like to use my bare hands. But you know what I'm saying, all right? Like 34 says, Silver Wolverine. Thank you, Silver Wolverine. Appreciate the like. Always helps to keep the, uh, keep the content uh, in the algorithm. Logan, thanks for keeping us updated. Stay safe. And there you go. This is the good Logan, not the... Not the uh, the spam Logan. All right. Yes, thank you. Uh, Brent says, thanks for the, doing the video. I'm in ID. No problem. I wanted to do that. I wanted to see how um, it would do and to kind of react and everything like that and get what people's thoughts are on it. and kind of saves you from making the buy if you don't need to or we're curious. Ah. Okay, let's see here. It's all good, says. You're the best advice in this video. Uh, was don't do what the government is doing. Stay out of debt. You sound uh, very sound advice for sure. Well, thanks. It's all good. Yes, do don't do as they do. Um, you know what I mean? It's like do as they do, not as they say. Um, do the opposite of what they do, for sure. Silver Wolverine, one of the many famous quotes: "I am your density." There you go. That's right. Uh, specifically from um, Back to the Future. That's right. Exactly right. Slurp says repeat day 74. Exactly. All right. Let's see here. Ah, where are we at? Okay, moving on up. 
Silver takes the prize for beauty. It is a beautiful metal for sure. Silver Wolverine. And no question about that. It does have that shine that it is the most reflective metal of all the metals on the periodic table. So yes, indeed. But gold is pretty beautiful too. It's its own, its own you know what I mean? There's something about it. And by the way, copper has a beauty too that I think is quite stunning. Yes, indeed. I like copper too. All right. Gold just broke 1750, says Silver Lime. Let's see what these markets are doing here. Yes, it has broken 1750. Uh, the market watch we've got going here. Um, gold is um, up 0.63%. And uh, up $11. Silver is performing almost double uh, what gold is right now. Silver is up to $16.91. We are on a $17 watch for silver. Um, John Drake says it's $17.28 on the futures. And we're not looking at bullion dealer prices because the bullion dealers are going to have a different price than what uh, Kitka is going to show. And they do things differently on the bullion dealer websites, which I'm not sure... I actually did inquire a little bit about it, but I want to I want to try to get a, a more information about what the bullion dealers and how they're reporting because they're reporting from several different areas, at least the one I talked to. But nonetheless, silver is getting close to that seventeen dollar level. It's now at sixteen dollars and ninety three cents, one point three two percent increase. Uh, platinum is up eighteen dollars to two point three percent increase, and palladium is almost up a percentage point to eighteen dollar increase in nineteen eighty eight. So, yes, indeed, we are uh, definitely uh, getting closer and closer. Silverholic thinks it will reach to $17 tonight. I'm more inclined to think that um, where I was just uh, 20 minutes ago when it was just kind of languishing there um, at just under a percentage point. So we'll see what happens. Uh, Sam Lick says, I'm from the Tom Green Show. Yes, indeed, Tom Green. Because metal's on my bum. My metal's on my bum. I put my bum on metal, and there's metal on my bum. Yes, indeed. I'm going to replace uh, Glenn Humperlink on the Tom Green Show. Except he won't make me do that swing thing. And indeed. All right. Yes, indeed. And I would never make a slut mobile, which just is not in my nature. It would not in my nature. Uh, Alan Gold, it's funny you say that. He says, show us your teeth, Sal. I'm actually twisting my nipple hair as we speak right now, Alan, and I'm doing it just for you. It gives me no pleasure to do it, by the way. I just don't like this. I hate hair on my nipples. I don't know. People talk about this Red Green show. I keep on forgetting to look it up. I don't know. I know the Tom Green show. But I sound nothing like Tom Green. Uh, but I have succeeded in one thing tonight, Michael Cabrera, and that is to put the image of me twisting my hair nipples into Alan Gold's brain. He's going to be dreaming about this tonight. It's not going to be about Silver Gold Man's existence or whether he's alive or not or Chigas. It's going to be images of me dancing around uh, with a... Uh, <laughs> Dancing around with, a, I don't know, a leotard on, twisting my <laughs> nipple hairs. I'm not into pain, uh, Barbara Carbone. It does hurt slightly because I'm trying to actually get pull these things out. I should just shave them. That's what I should do. But anyway, sorry. I probably have lost a number of viewers after that little commentary. Let's get back here to the comments and get back to business. Great video, Sal says Ronald Wells. Thank you so much. All right. Appreciate that. You're watching, having a little fun, looking at the metal. Says, I love metal. Stephen Mazur, comparing 20-pound GDP and everything else uh, someone else can afford. Comparing 20-quid uh, Great Britain pound and everything else compared someone else can afford. Okay, I'm not sure I get that exactly, but thank you. I'm out of control, says Barbara. Full silence of the lambs, that's right. <laughs> Send them to your fan. There you go, one nipple hair per fan. There you go. Joe Costello, sing Frankie Smith, Double Dutch Bus. Uh, you know, I don't know that song, but I have heard Pass the Duchy. Remember that song? Uh, and pasties. There you go. I need to get some pasties. That's what I need to do. Sam Lick is here. Sal in the house. Good to see you, Sam Lick. He is in the house. Welcome, my friend. All right. Let's see here. Okay. Okay. A gold chick has just shaved down. Oh, man. All right. We need more information. Can you provide more information, Gold Chick? We need some more information about that. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, where are we at? Uh, Old Sir says, very nice comparison. I got a Platinum Philharmonic, which is 
which is fun to compare with the gold and silver too. Yes, you know, one thing about the Philharmonics, which are quite interesting, because the gold, silver, and platinum Philharmonics are the same exact diameter. They just have a variety of thickness. The gold harmonic Philharmonic is very thin, and the, sil the platinum Philharmonic is paper thin. Very, very. Put paper clips in your nips. Yeah, I'm definitely not into that kind of pain. <laughs> That's for sure. And I do not have man booms, Alan Gold. I can tell you that. I don't do not have those. I promise. All right. Pathfinder is curious about what Gold Chick said, and I am too, Pathfinder. I must confess. All right. Very good. All right. Silver Fan. Very cool. Very awesome. I love it all. I love all of it. Thanks, Silver Fan. I do too. I love the different metals. Let's have another slurp of some coffee. Shave my udders. That'd be utterly ridiculous if I did that. Moves. I do not have moves. I don't think. I think the push-ups are helping me not have if they're very firm. This chat needs answers. That's right. Alan Gold is in the dwarf tossing. Yes, I've done a little dwarf. No, I've never done dwarf tossing. I must confess. Kenshin Kenji. Horses were used as transportation for millennia. Why isn't that still transportation? Same thing for silver as money. Ah, yes, our resident silver hater here. Uh, but the thing is, is that um, uh, horses can still be used for transportation. Uh, and it's actually it's a good thing you mentioned horses. And why? Because if there's ever an EMP, uh, then uh, cars aren't going to be working. And people will use horses. In fact, there are many places around the world where horses are still used for uh, transportation for millennia. Uh, and by the way, horses weren't used by uh, in American Indians for transportation until the, um, until the I guess it was the 1600s or so, the 16th century. So yes, horses are still used for transportation, although horses aren't fungible. Uh, let's see here. Mr. Ting, Philharmonics just sounds like different size men. Yes, indeed. All right. Okay, where are we at? Uh, Donald, New Mexico. Hey, Sal. You, you are dense. You are hung up in color. Mark my words. By the one ounce of E75 Gold Eagle. Okay, Donald. I might, you know, because uh, Silver Wolverine mentioned that too, that he's thought about getting one. I might give it a shot. Um, not because I necessarily am interested in the coin, but if I can flip it and buy uh, two ounces of a gold with it, then I'd be up for it. You know what I'm saying? All right, where are we at? Let's see here. Gold Maple says, I would still go for gold. Platinum, palladium, and silver have more or less the same color. Copper also has a unique color too. Salivate, you got it to also invest in gallium. It's the only metal that melts in your hand at room temperature. Invest in some Sumerian too. It's man-made metal. It does not exist as a natural element on Earth and repels sharks if you go in the ocean. Well, I'll have to check that out. I've never heard of the Sumerian I hope it's not uh, radioactive or anything like that. Gold maple. I'd be Jeff Cohen A is here. Hello, Jeff. Good to see you. Medium man, tell that to Burger King. Uh, I'm trying to think what to tell to Burger King. But anyways. Gold TX. Can someone help? What's the best one-tenth coin you can get? Uh, probably an eagle if you can find it for close to spot. All right. Ooh, man. It's really smooth. I put ceramide lotion on it afterwards. Crevice. Ooh, interesting. Okay. We just finished our coffee. And now we're going to have some water. Let's we'll slurp some water. All right, I, I got something for you, Sullivan. Ever wonder why gold symbol is AU? AU stands for RM, Latin for gold. Silver is AG, which stands for Argentium, Latin for silver. Lead is the most interesting. Its symbol is PB, which stands for plumbum. Get it, Sullivan? Plumbum. That's Latin for, Latin for lead. Yes, plumbum. I do. Thank you, Gold Maple. That was good. Okay, very good. Uh, would you ever stack uranium or plutonium? No, I would not touch that stuff with a 10-foot pole. No way, I would not. Would not have done that. Uh, would not stack, because it's radioactive. I like to stay, from radioactive, stay away from radioactive stuff. 
American Gold Eagle and Gold Double Eagle, a comparative study. All right. Uh, hey, brother, it's me again. Tomorrow, I'm going to make another purchase. I was wondering what you would advise. The day before yesterday, I bought a 1908 Double Eagle, $1,800, and figured it was a good deal. By the way, you got a good deal on yours anyways. The price to be in the same would buy a 1904 Double Eagle or a 1998 $50 Gold Eagle. I'm literally going to buy it tomorrow morning. So I'd appreciate a prompt answer from you if you can. Thank you. Also, why would you do it? Whatever you do, it do. Um, uh, let's see here. Mm, dang, I don't know, man. If, I hope you come to this live stream to hear my answer. Uh, I hope you do, Willie. But I would say, if you already have a 1908 Double Eagle and that's the first gold you got, and you can get the 1998 $50 Gold Eagle, that's a full ounce of gold, I would go for that this time, unless you can get a really good deal on that 1904, 1904 Double Eagle, which is a common year, by the way. Um, so I wouldn't pay a whole lot of a spot for it, but I would go with the 98 Gold Eagle. Uh, it just depends on what the price is. You didn't tell me what the price is. Um, so unless you, I know what the price is, it's hard for me to advise you there. Okay, let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Michael Corbin, Jerome Powell on 60 Minutes were not out of ammunition on the economy. Expects a rebound second half of this year, which means that uh, it could turn to negative interest rates, even though he said they wouldn't do it. What else do they have but more quantitative easing? Throw more money at the problem. I don't know. Great comparison of the metals. Thanks. I can't imagine what other two things you would do other than uh, the negative interest rates or more quantitative easing. Or, or repos, more repos. Thank you, Silver High. Sterling Cannabis says, I love the debt clock. It does not tell me what my silver is worth, but I want to want to think it does. Yeah, I know I hear you. You're right. It does not tell you what your silver is worth. That's not what the purpose of that is, indeed. All right. Okay. Uh, John P, 999 Buffalo. Yes, it's a good coin. Yes, Pathfinder is asking a great question to Gold Chick. What kind of lotion and for what? Edward Owen says, Gold is climbing, silver is inching. But again, this is in line with what the Fed pump stock market. As I said a long time ago, it's possible there is one more silver gold boom. I said it depends on how many people still believe in the myth of gold and silver of anything more than metals. And given the sheep mentality I'm witnessing, America is now 50-50 that it can happen again. Before I was more like 90, 10 against. Okay, yep. Thank you, Edward, for your comment there. Okay, let's see here. All right, uh, Rocky Superstar. Sal, that is some nice pocket change. Buy a platinum coin today. Pay you back next Tuesday. Yes, indeed. All right. Thank you, sir. Let's see what the markets are doing. What is platinum doing right now? Platinum is the big winner of the evening so far. A 2.3% increase. $805, $18 up. Gold is uh, is up 0.76%, $13.20 up. Silver has yet to bait, break the $17 level here in the spot price, up 23 cents, but it's over 1%. And Pathfinder uh, says at $2 Super Chat, call him to show at Gold Chick. Yes, indeed, Gold Chick, Gold Chick, call him to Gold Chick. What does she mean? No numis now, she's saying. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay. Tricky guy. Oil went so negative it hit minus thirty-eight dollars a barrel. I heard thirty-four, but I think, uh, but yes, it went crazy. It went negative. I don't think that'll happen with gold or silver. They're just different kinds of commodities. Because see, oil got to the point where it was sitting offshore, and <laughs> you had to find a way. Sorry, I'm laughing at Alan Gold's comment. I thought that was that's pretty <laughs> that's pretty darn clever there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah. Uh, but you're right, tricky guy. It's because you had to pay people to store it. And I tell you what, I don't have much room on this land to put up barrels of oil, do you? Oh, my gosh. Ugh. All right, if, if gold gets to $17, I will do 17 push-ups. 17 for 17, all right? That's what we're going to do. I'm going to do that. You have my word. If Before this chat ends, if it gets above $17, this is as high as it's gone so far. To sixteen dollars and ninety-five cents. That's one dollar. That's one point four one percent increase. That's almost a quarter up. Quarter. I mean, uh, like twenty-five cents. You know what I'm saying? It's almost there. 
All right, let's see here. Metal Man says, hey, Sal, Trump has control of the Fed. I think he's printing as much as he can before he ends the Fed and mints our own silver gold money and stay free. You know what, Metal Man? That's actually an interesting theory. Um, uh, and that would be that would be interesting if that's exactly what's going on. Um, let the old system die out, go out with a bang, and just print all that money like it's going out of style, and then he does something else. Um that would be interesting if that's going to happen. I don't think that's the case, but it's an interesting theory for sure. Okay. Sterling Cannabis says, These coins all have the lizard on them. I would have to melt them and make buttons. The metals are quite nice. Now, 17 push-ups to make up for not using USA minted metal. Well, yes, uh, Sterling Cannabis, the 17 push-ups will come if we see... $17 silver before this live stream ends. Indeed. All right. Oh, did I say gold at 17 not silver? Oh, man. Carl, 1988. Thank you for calling me out on that. Shoot, I'm talking too fast and not thinking. Silver has got to hit $17 an ounce before I do those push-ups. If we waited for gold to hit $17 an ounce, we'd be in deep doo-doo. Okay, where are we at? Let's see here. Patriot is here. Silver is over, over 17 in JM charts, but I don't use bullion dealer charts for those. I'm using uh, Kitco because that's not what silver is really at. Silver is not at $17 yet. You go to any other website, um, and it's not going to show that. Or any other site other than a bullion dealer. However, Kitco technically is a bullion dealer. But uh, these other bullion dealers, they're deriving that from some, some other interesting scenario. And I think they're padding it in some ways, too. Ah. Edward Owens, I'm going to be real curious to see what metals and futures do tonight. Otherwise, there's something that I need to consider about what is going on too far. Too many variables to clog up Sal's comment section. A few people, okay, we won't go into that. He's talking about something else, but... Uh, but thank you. It'll be interesting. We're talking about that right now, Edward. So if you want to come in to the live stream, we'll definitely be welcoming here because I think we'll, we are seeing some interesting things happen. Mainly the metals are going up right now. Uh, for sure. Eddie's Little Stack. Sure doesn't look good for gold to go cheaper with all this debt. Maybe I could just buy Splendier Gold on credit. When in Rome, there you go. Might as well buy in credit. All right. Thank you, Barbara. She likes that. Very good. All right. Okay. Days of Confused Stacker. I want to buy a platinum coin, but the premium is so high percentage-wise. The South African elephant is beautiful. Silver spot is also high. Gold premium is the best deal at the moment, in my opinion, and I think gold one-tenths are the best, affordable, and a decent spot premium ratio. Uh, well, yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm not finding many 10-ounce coins for under $200. And to me, that's not the, it's an okay deal for what it is, but I wouldn't say it's the best deal, but maybe you're finding something I'm not days and confused. So congratulations. If you are, that's awesome. Gold Maple says platinum comes from the Spanish words plata, which is silver like. The conquistadors had discovered huge quantities of a silver metal in Peru, thinking it was worthless. They dumped it into the Pacific Ocean. Only later it was realized this metal was really valuable and it was platinum. Yes. In fact, the platinum really wasn't discovered uh, until the 1700s. So the conquistadors may have discovered it and didn't know what they had. Exactly right. All right, Le Petit Silver. We're checking spot price from Kitco. And right now, Kitco is showing 1698 So it's getting close. So guys, if silver gets to $17 an ounce, silver gets to $17 an ounce, I will do 17 more push-ups. I've already done 60. Actually, I've done 70 because I did 10 push-ups for, uh, for part-time prepper. So I've done 70 already. Grow Mechanic, we can't do the push-ups yet until it shows up on my screen as $17 here. It very well may happen. But we're not looking at bullion dealers' websites. We're looking at Kitco. All right, I'm going to just stop this screen. I'm not going to I'm not going to refresh this anymore so that I can say that I'm in the clear of having to do so 17 push-ups. I'm going to try to get out of doing these push-ups by saying that it's not going up, that it's only one cent shy of it. I can't do it. 
even though the browser auto refreshes at kitco.com, so it's going to happen inevitably anyway, but I can pretend it's not. I'm going to just go away from this. I'm going to try to back out of this deal, people. Me doing push ups. Ah. Eric. The finish flavors palladium more than most. Platinum almost looks like nickel. It's one of the reasons it's not used in jewelry. I like platinum and gold the best usually. Yes, it does kind of have that nickel feel. All right, let's go back and see if it's over $17 an ounce. It hit it. $17.01. There it is. I got to get the stretch in now, guys. 17 push ups. Here we go. $17.01. There it is. <clears throat> All right, guys. 17 one dollar for each dollar that silver is here it comes ah. one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen yay oh wow Oh, those are a little harder to do because I had done 70 before, and that's 87 push-ups now in total for tonight. Wow. Not to rip my groin. Thank goodness I have it. My whispering sounds great. Oh, thank you, Silver Smith. Appreciate that. That's to try to uh, woo Barbara Carbone. I don't know if it's working or not, but anyways. No, I didn't fart, I promise. Mm. Huzzah! Says Olaf the Mighty. Yes, indeed. Seventeen dollars. There it is. Seventeen dollars. Seventeen oh one. Yeah, seventeen oh two. Now, wow, very cool. Do gold now. If gold gets to, yeah, if gold gets to seventeen seventy five, then I will do seventeen more push ups. But I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think that's going to happen. 1775. Thanks, Le Petit Silver. Thank you so much. Do jumping jacks. Oh, man. Yes, indeed. Jumping jacks. Jumping jack flash. All right. Alan Gold says Sal loves grannies. You know what? That's something I can't deny. I cannot deny that. All right. And I'm old enough to be Barbara Carbone's daddy. She says I'm my daddy. All right. Well, thank you so much, little girl. Okay. She's my daughter. All right. Very good. Let's see here. If you pull a groin doing push-ups, you might be doing them wrong. That's for sure, inefficient stacker. I've never even had any kind of uncomfortability in that region from doing push-ups. Oh, man. Okay. Car1988 says, My ape brain went bananas under the luster of gold. Gimme, gimme. It's true money. There you go, my friend. Thank you. And I think he was in here in the chat side correcting me about the uh, silver at the... $17. I said gold. I meant to say silver. <clears throat> gold maple. I don't know where palladium derived its name. It's a metal I know the least about, salivate. I know it's more rare than gold, silver, and platinum. You forgot to mention rhodium. Well, that's right, because we're just talking about these metals, comparing these. It's really tough to compare rhodium inside of a of a plastic thing, but it has more of a rose-colored, and I've done... Um, done that osmium is dangerous it's rarely mentioned because it causes cancer wow uh, uh, iridium bars iridium is the densest but i didn't know that ir osmium was cancerous wow that's not good okay yes that's true i tricky guy i'm not going to actually read that comment however um i i can't deny that the, i agree with you that's true all right Okay, Timothy Whittington says, okay, cool. All right, thank you. Uh, Paul Richards, I can't see the difference. Could you bring them a bit closer? By a bit, I mean bring them over. Right? They're going to leave them in ID. There you go. Yes, sir, Paul. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. All right, let's have another slurp here. <sighs> okay. Kuna Coin, sell. You got some dirty fingernails, my brother. Oh, you like that. I know. Sorry about that. Yes, indeed. I'm working the yard sometimes. Value Hunter says, nope. I need to get a manicure, I think, before I do these things. People always talk about them. Actually, right now, I don't have any dirt. because I, I took my monthly shower a couple hours ago. No, I'm kidding. I take a shower every three hours. No, I'm kidding. I don't do that either. 
Great video, Sal. It says Silver Stanger. Thank you so much, sir. You were the man. Appreciate that. All right. Thank you, Barbara. You like that sloip? Here's another sloip. That's my New Jersey way of saying sloip. Uh, Silver hit 17 again. That's right. Let's see. Is it at 17? Oh, man. It's at 16.99 now. Can I take back those 17 push-ups? Don't know if I can. 16.99. Man, tell you. One biz kid, gold old maple leaves are my favorite to stack and probably the most international precious metal. Combines elegance, class, minimalism, and beauty on a coin. Yes, indeed. Except some people don't like the queen. So think about this guy, guy about this guy. So hello, Vegas stacker. Silver uh, was at eleven dollars and some odd cent a mere uh, a month and a half ago, and is right almost back up to where it was. Uh, before all this mess began. So it's making a recovery. And uh, and yes, it could go down. We could see $16.50 silver tomorrow, midday. Um, but, you know, I think overall, silver's on a move in a positive direction. Um, and um, I really do feel, especially with what's going on in the world today, it, it, it really has no choice but to do that. All right, very good. Okay. Moving ahead here, we're getting, man, it's getting, we're definitely pushing two hours. We're going to have to do the bum rush thing here soon, guys, I think. We have a, good, a lot of good folks, people watching, but we're getting close to the end here. Been going two hours straight here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Medio Man, the actual money change hand price of silver is $16.89. The bid price. So the bid price never went above $17, that's true. Um, oh, Jim Watari says $17. For $17 on the 17th. That's true, Jim. Thank you so much. Astute point. It is the 17th. A silver hit, hit $17. And Jim Watari sent me $17. Now, uh, you know, not to rain on anybody's parade, but YouTube gets 30% of that. But uh, but nonetheless, that's what that super chat was. Thank you, Jim Watari. Thank you so much, sir. Very kind. Nice. Very good observation there. All right. All right, take care, Grow Mechanic. Thank you so much, Grow Mechanic, for being here. I appreciate you popping on. Yes, indeed. Nobody likes a quitter. I know, I know. It's crazy. It's a Viagra stream. That's right. All right. Yingping Kanjing says, I see no reason to invest in platinum and palladiums for a long time. These metals are used in gasoline and diesel cars. Future belongs to electric and hydrogen cars, like Tesla and Toyota Maris. Silver, of course, yes. I read something. One ounce silver is used for one car. Yeah, that's right. I mean, they're um, they're speculative metals, but they're saying that platinum and palladium can actually still be used in in, uh, in some of those other uh, automobiles as well in different ways. But it's been a while since we've done that. Q is the seventeenth letter. That's right, tricky guy. Rhodium is named for Cecil Rhodes, as was Rhodesia. Rhodesia is now Zimbabwe. Rhodes uh, tricked Barbeto out of the part of his Kimberley diamond mine in South Africa. Wow. Interesting, yeah, that's right, because Gold Chick knows she is an expert in diamond, and that's right, and, and uh, Rhodesia was a big diamond mining area. Yeah, that's crazy, the Kimberly Diamond Mine. Thanks for that information, Gold Chick. It's pretty wild. All right. Captain Ron Hayward is, uh, is a new honorary citizen. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Welcome, indeed. Yes, indeed. Thank you for popping in, sir. All right. All right, let's see here. Silver limey, platinum and silver are quite similar to shine. Gold stands out on its own. Yes, it sure does. But silver is is all the more reflective, for sure. Thank you, Jimmy Lacare, for popping in and saying hello. And Eli is here. Hello, Eli. And Ufer Dunnar is here. Platinum plate metals are in comp boards. I do metal recycling. Okay, oh, they are in computer board. Okay, I did not know that. They were... And computer boards. Very cool. Thank you. AC says, can you imagine the wealth of heaven? St streets of gold? Think about how much would be needed. Wow. Oh, I know. It's crazy. Yes. All right. A lot would be needed. Slip it down Pelosi's granny pennies. I am sure no one will be investigated at territories for centuries. Oh, my gosh. That's pretty funny. I got to confess. That's pretty funny. All right. Mark B says, Sal, it looks good, but something is lost in the color of money. Yes, indeed. All right. Old Man Jenkins says, I love the Freedom Girl. I have two of them. I wish I had more. They're beautiful. Yeah, the Freedom Girls were nice. I like those, too. I think they're really... 
Yes, catch up on what I missed on the phone. Thank you, Captain Ron Hayward. I appreciate it. By the way, we have something from uh, Ron Hayward here momentarily, guys. Bear with me because it's something to check out. I'm going to take his word for it. I haven't investigated it completely, but I had to look at the site. Um, something wrong here. Got to go. There's something wrong here. Got to go. What's wrong? I don't know what's wrong, Bob Often, but I appreciate you commenting. Okay, where are we at? Mark B says, I always, it's always Trump's fault no matter what. Such BS of a pass and scoring the virus or something. I don't need to remember, but forgot to buy something to remind me. All right, thank you, sir. All right, yes, yeah, so Captain Ron, stick around because I want to ask you about this because I'm glad you're here. Richard C says, thanks, Salivate. Thank you, Richard C. Mexican beer flu metal. Up next, I'll make a metal that reminds us of weight again. Pass. All right, as we move on up here, American Super Tramp says, don't know. Are people able to tell the platinum palladium someplace besides online? Quick in and out exchange for me is an enormous deal. Well, yeah, that's true. I mean, uh, um, it's you got to take the word for it, what's printed on the coin. If it's a government issue bullion, you can rest assured it's probably real unless they fake it, which is very difficult, but we'll see here. Uh, oh, man, Shane Weimer is here. It's FB blocked a linked U.S. debt clock, VO of Comstock. That's interesting. Weird. Um, if you just search for usdebtclock.org, it should show up. But thank you, Shane Weimer. Yes, indeed. So I own examples of all these metals in coin metal round bar form. I must say that I truly like all these metals. I was considerably more excited to get my first platinum eagle than I was my first eagle. Yes, it is an interesting coin. I know you and I are bullish on that. A number of years ago today, today I own about as much platinum as gold. Cool. Thanks, coins A to Z. Many Cunis stack or love the U.S. debt clock. If I ever have any doubt about my stack, I quickly take a peek at today's debt. 2024 looks scary. It sure does. Yes, sir. Yes, indeed. Melting down no copyright laws against total misrepresentation of what this says about the United States. The Secret Service must still hold this patent, though. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know the affiliation there with that. With that. But anyway, Chuck Norris is here. Good to see you. Here's another slurp or bong hit. All right. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, guys, let's see here. Savage Stacker says, I have two out of four of those things south of putting the thought in my mind, and now that I need all four of my collection, thanks for sharing. Love these types of videos. Thank you, Savage Stacker. I appreciate that, my friend. I'm very, very kind. And his little stack, password chains to Alan Gold, jumped all over the moon with a butt up a silver tube. Thanks, all right. That can help you with a new password there. Tricky guy on this video. I think it's very strange that you showed the maple leaf coins that were all sparkly as you changed the angle of, of incidents. And you never once used the phrase, all that glitters is not gold. Oh, I'm losing it. Good point. They did kind of uh, shimmer there. It was a missed opportunity to see that glitter. Yes, the sparkly. Thank you. Jay Silver says, I'm thinking you were talking about me with a shout out. I did a video of this years ago, and yes, I had a copper maple leaf, just a generic round. Jay Silver, I'm thinking... Maybe you went under a different name, because I don't remember the name Jay Silver, but could have been you. If it was, thank you. For sure, my friend. Prefer the yellow metal, but I stacked the white one, says Metal Man. Yes, indeed. I hear you. All right. Is Ron still here? Captain Ron? Are you still here, my friend? Patrick Joseph says here, uh, platinum will be needed for fuel cell technology. Entire South Korea and Japan are going to be fuel cell technologies, fuel cells of the future. That's what I thought. I knew there was something that platinum was going to be used for. Uh, other than gasoline vehicles as a catalyst. Love this video. Thanks, Patrick Joseph. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Value is everything. I was thinking the gold maple is pretty small compared to silver maple, but I got my first platinum maple yesterday. And man, it really is small. It sure is. about the size of a half a dollar. I've got one right here that I kind of fondle with i like to fondle it all right take care media man have a good one my friend tricky guy gold absorbs blue light and thus yellow light is reflected teach us how why does gold love blue ah good question because it knows that the people who don't have it will be blue i think that's why uh yes terry is terry something not here to defend her last title you know what she did get last last time but I got last the time before that almost one. I got no credit for it either. Mm. Gold is a barbarous relic I can really warm up to. Me too, Pamela Rice. All right. Patrick Young says, interesting. Thank you, sir. I'm calling Captain Ron, by the way. Is Captain Ron Hayward still here? 
DB Stupid used to be able to look at people's channels from the chat. No more. Oh, that's weird. I'm sorry, DB Stupid. Well, I'm glad you're here. We can hear see you typing in here. Can you not see the chat or hear me? I guess not. Look at people's channels. Oh, oh, you mean from the uh, three dots. That's right. Yeah, I know. I wish they would still do that. So you can subscribe to other people. I know what you're talking about now. Yeah, I don't know why they don't do that. Okay. Gold is more dangerous than COVID-19. Your chance of being murdered by a mugger is higher than being murdered by COVID-19 if the mugger coughs on you. Um, days later, you get some sniffles, and by the vast majority, way even more than one. When 10,000 dies, considered a percentage of armed robberies till the end of the month, far, far higher. So avoid gold like the plague. There you go. All right. Awesome reasoning there. It is a little stack. Here's a problem with still looking at a national debt versus GDP. GDP can plummet the same way income can. If I were making $1 million a year and buy $2 million house, they laid off and find a new job making tenth of that, is it monetary responsible? GDP can fall like a poop of ton bricks. That's true. That's a metric ton. That's true. Yeah, good point. Very good point. Okay. Debt increasing like instant insanity. It sure is. Morgan Report. I wonder if this is the real Morgan Report or a knockoff of the Morgan Report. Joining me today is... It looks like it is the real Morgan Report. I can't have just 28. He's got to have more subscribers than me. Is that the David Morgan? Or is that somebody copying his channel? I can't imagine that somebody... Maybe it is the real David Morgan. Well, that's surprising. I can't believe he's got less subscribers than me. Debt increasing like instant insanity. It sure is. Oh, he's true there. Uh, Debbie yes, uh, says May 17, 440 Mountain Time. Amex reports that gold is 1766, silver is $17 an ounce. Interesting. Well, that's what we're talking about right here. Debbie S., we're, we're already on that news, but you're right. Let's take a look what the markets are doing right now, Debbie. They are. Right now, as we speak, uh, gold is 1758.10, silver is at 1698, and uh, so yeah, it's it's definitely um, they're definitely up. Silver was over 17 dollars an ounce for a split second, but anyways, all right, take care, take out squeezy coins A to Z. Good to see you, my friend. Thanks for being here, John P. You the man. You're the man. Yes, indeed. Appreciate you. All right, so yes, all the metals are up. They're taking a pretty big jump upwards, I think, from the starting gate, indeed. Cat Jitsu says, sup, SM, and everybody. Thank you. All right, let's see here. Sup, SM. All right, thank you, sir. All right, here, this is what we wanted to see from Captain Hayward. Ron Hayward. I did look at this thing, and I did check this post out. So we're going to approve that. And go down to where, well, it's going to be somewhere way down in here. But this is a Facebook thing. Opioid awareness. They're giving away a bison bullion 5 ounce, 3 nines pure silver bullion bar uh, to the first OAI fundraiser to reach $1,000. These rare silver bullion bars are incredible value now. We may be worth thousands. So we also have one ounce Indian Buffalo silver coins. Start your fundraiser for Opioid Awareness Institute. So I guess let's look at that. It's on Facebook. Look up Opioid Awareness Institute, I guess. And check it out for yourself. I can't vouch for them, which is why I wanted to um, get him on here. But anyways. But he was here earlier. Uh, Olfendinar, thank you for the $5 super chat. He says, 1988, 1988 with Rothschilds last year running The Economist magazine. Ah, yes, and that was the year that they predicted the Bitcoin thing. Or that last year, or that in 2018 or something, they had the, the famous cover on the magazine. That's right. But anyways, I digress. Very good. Thank you. Gentel's Men Channel says, Copper was a vase metal no matter what it's not a precious metal. I don't know why they keep pushing it as precious metal. I don't own, I don't mind owning some copper as a commodity, but stop mixing it up with copper. Um... Well, yeah, copper is, is not a precious metal. That's right. It is a base metal, but it's money. Copper is money. Thank you. Love the maples. In fact, look at my video called 
why I love copper. And I think I did a video on why copper is money too. But anyways, okay. Okay, let's see here. The pit bull father, well said. As a 34-year-old, I've always believed in PM value because, perhaps because of my father and grandfather, I'm told that it's just a hobby. We will see. Worst case, my ch children have an inheritance. There you go. I think that's a very wise way to look at it. You think beyond your generation. Very good. All right. Mm. All right. Stacking and packing and bison versus a buffalo. What is the difference? I do not know. I must not be educated. I thought they were interchangeable, but I guess there's some difference. Maybe a bison is a neutered buffalo. I don't know. Educate us. Stacking and packing us. Stacking and pack us. Enlighten us before I head out of here. Mmm. Bison, bison, bison. What are these spam comments? Change the reverse of the silver mentions years ago, really the old ones. And that is something real. I don't know. I guess that's probably legitimate, but I'm not gonna click it until I know for sure. Before we go, boy, I've been I've been streaming a long time tonight, guys. Dang it. Oh my gosh, what's wrong with me? My yard is mowed, though. I'm happy about that. My yard is mowed. My yard is mowed. It's mowing yard. All right, guys. Doesn't look like a stack and a pack and it's going to answer me. So I'm going to hang out. I'm going to head out of here, guys. We had a great time. We don't have Terry79 to push us around with the last thing. She won't be last because she was not first here. She wasn't even here. We missed Terry. We missed old Terry. Yes, indeed. I don't know where she is. All right, guys. Well, have a good night. A multitude of gratitude. Thank you, Pitbull Father. Thank you so much. Yes, indeed. I appreciate you. you were the last comment of the, the, of the night that we responded to. So I appreciate you. A multitude of gratitude to you all. Remember the sage advice as your week gets uh, going here. And that is to keep your feet on the stars and keep reaching for the ground. Take care. Appreciate you guys. And thanks again for the super chats tonight, guys. Very kind of you all. Have a good one. Take care. Multitude of gratitude. And we'll see you Tuesday.